Son of a bitch. <laughs> Send it back. <laughs> Can't use it anymore. My hands are tainted. Yeah. I put stickers on mine. <laughs> Everybody's talking about their notebooks. Mine's just yellow. It's ugly. I hate you're yellow. Gonna, it's like the you're worst have color. To, like de decorate that. You're gonna have, like I put stickers crayon on and mine. stuff. I don't plan on having it long enough to decorate but it. But whenever I did it, my book was upside down. <laughs> I hate yellow. Yellow is like the worst the color, though. It's like the ugliest Look, it's, color. It's upside down and it's on the back side. That's All right, good. welcome back to the show. Oh, we got a a guest this week. My daughter Madison decided to set in with us for Hocus Pocus one and two. Oh boy, we have so much to cover on these two movies that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dive right into our news and things of that sort because, and I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. Um, Godspeed. Uh, do you have the bullet points? Do you? Because <laughs> I, I gave them to you. I do, but I always forget what they are. Well, it's it's intro, news. Yeah, intro, news. Movie. Movie. Uh, Shit, where are oh, here they? Reviews. Are. Oh, intro, news. Uh, what have you been watching? Oh, what have Movie you Movie time, been? ratings, trivia, next week. Okay, so, god damn it! Now I lost my. Page. You should hang that up somewhere. I should. Honestly, I should just go get that. Uh, the one that I that I had that to write had. down. Yeah, it's still hanging in the yeah, basement. Yeah, I bet it is. All right, so uh, <laughs> first off, we're gonna get right into the news. I don't want to waste any time. Diddy, 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 daddlin, <laughs> diddy, diddy, daddlin. Um, all right, so. Oh boy, there's quite a bit to cover actually this week for news. Um, Maybe you should limit it. I did just actually. The there was a lot three. to cover, but I only did just the like a few major oh, okay. things that I thought was important. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, okay, so first off, uh, Keanu Reeves. I don't know if you guys know about his comic book called Berserker. Yeah. Do you guys know what yeah, I'm talking about? I've heard about it. Um, so apparently he wants to. Uh, they want to make a movie adaptation of it, and he wants to direct it. Oh, that's a great idea. I think I've it's a fantastic idea, I've and heard. I think that he should bring in the same people, the stunt coordinators and stuff, and the martial art people from the John Wick series. Yeah, because that would be baller. Mm -hmm. um, so. I thought I heard when they first came out the comic book he wanted to do a movie of it. <laughs> he wanted to do a movie of it when it first came Probably, out. Probably, yeah. Well, he's an actor. Of course he'd want to make a movie out of it. Only I think when I first heard about it, they were wanting to do it was, it was going to be like an animated thing. Right. Okay, so this is what it says. It says, Keanu Reeves may direct movie adaptation of his own comic book, Berserker. Hollywood legend Keanu Reeves is thinking about directing Netflix's... Oh, it's a Netflix uh, flick, apparently. He's going to do it on, for Netflix, which... Good Stop. and bad. Yeah. Like, some, some do a wide release, great. man. Yeah, but... I don't know. But anyway, see, that's the future. I feel like because a lot of it is, it, but honestly, Hollywood sucks. But and I want they the movie. Some people need that movie going experience for certain movies. You know, sure people, but I they, have friends that love going to the movies, and I right. don't see a, a, I don't see a. I think even actors around. though yeah. know that Hollywood's going downhill. It you is. Can't get, it is. You yeah. can't get good stuff made, um, so they go elsewhere. Right. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so he's thinking about directing the Netflix film adaptation of Berserker, a comic book about an immortal warrior fighting through uh, through the ages. Oh, Collider's own, I guess I've never I didn't read know the he comic. Was immortal, Collider's own Stephen Weintraub, okay, sat down with Berserker writers wild, and creators Reeves and Matt Kint, <laughs> as well as the artist Ron Garney. <laughs> To discuss the franchise's future during the interview, Reeves confessed that he hadn't read uh, Matson Tomlin's script. M Matson Tomlin's script yet, but he is considering directing the adaptation of his best-selling comic himself, which would be cool. I'm alright with that. I love Keanu Reeves, dude. He does no wrong in my opinion. So you got better at reading. I, I did very good that. Usually I make Karen do it. I'm like, here, he do does. this. He makes me read when it's um, long. Okay, so also in a little bit of movie news here, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that trailer yet with David Harbour. 
Yes. Uh, Violent yes, Light. Yes. I think that I movie looks wait. awesome. It looks awesome. It looks awesome, dude. So, well, David Harbour's amazing. I know. So he's awesome. Matter. And he's got that. He's very quippy, and I like him. Mm-hmm. So, but he's, uh, that trailer dropped. They're right. all on my naughty list. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're all on my naughty list. <laughs> Is that the guy from Stranger Things? Yeah. 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 He played Hellboy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's playing. Yeah, he's Santa got he's Claus got Santa, Santa, Santa Claus movie coming out. A little bit thing of it. Oh, it looks huh? so good. Yeah, it Harper. Looks so yeah. good. Hopper. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. it says uh, David Harper or David Harbor. No, his last name is Harbor. Harbor no, is his name. Harper. I, I did. Oh, you Harbor. did. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, David Harbor is Santa Claus, and he, uh, he's out for blood for the first violent in the first Violent Night trailer. Uh, the, the holiday season is rapidly approaching with uh, means. Which means, goddamn, it's time to start pulling out those pumpkins, turkeys, and Christmas lights. As you compile those movie watch lists, Universal Pictures is bringing another Christmas flick to add to the list. But while you ask in the holiday cheer, Violent Night brings the holiday fear. It In just a couple of months, the David Harbour-led movie will bring audiences a different kind of Christmas movie, and the official trailer has arrived. So, if you haven't seen the trailer, the movie looks fucking baller. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. Yeah, it does. So, go check out the trailer, and if you're a David Harbour or Stranger Things fan, whatever. Uh, it's also got um, uh, John, Leguizamo. John Leguizamo in it. Um, so, go check out the trailer. That's all I'm going to say about it. Check it out. Because um, I want to keep moving along. Uh, also, because of we're getting into the colder months, I told you that I would keep you updated on movies coming out. There aren't any new movies out other than Hocus Pocus um, that released within the last week, but there are some movies to look forward to coming up this week. Like Halloween Ends? Not not this week. That doesn't come out this week. I mean, like, just in general. Well, I'm talking about the, for the next week. Um, first off, on Netflix, we got uh, Luckiest Girl Alive. Uh, it has... Um, well, hold on. Let me tell you here. Uh, Luckiest Girl Alive comes out October 7th on Netflix. I believe it is an R-rated flick. Um, says right here, I'll give you a thing here. Based on the novel of the same name, The Luckiest Girl Alive sees Mila Kunis stepping back into a leading role as the successful writer of a soon-to-be-married uh, Annie Finelli. Yeah. Everything seems to be going perfectly in her life until a figure from her past comes back into the picture and threatens to spend uh, upend all that she has worked to build for her future. In addition to also starring actors Finn Whitrock and Scoot McNary. Wow, that's a weird fucking name. (laughs) McNary. (laughs) It is being helmed by veteran director Mike Barker, who recently worked on the hit series The Sandman, which is a very good show. If you haven't seen it, I would check that out. Uh, While this isn't likely to be be as time-bending as that show, it is the one on the, this list for whatever. Check it out if you want. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't feel like reading anymore. All right. Uh, all right. Next up we have, and I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. Hellraiser comes out in two days, October 7th. It's got an R rating, obviously. It's very, very... I'm looking forward to that one, too. Yeah. Um, the fuck is this? But, uh, so, I don't know... Real quick, did you hear about that lady talking about Hocus Pocus 2? Um, saying, like, don't watch it. She was telling everybody, don't watch it. Because oh, yeah. The, because the, it's, uh, it, because the witches will yeah. send things through your TV. Send things through your TV. I saw that. That shit's fucking great. <laughs> My mom told me about it. I thought she was kidding. Yeah, I saw I saw the video. My mom was, was telling good. me about it. I was like, you're, no, nah, you're fucking with me. She's like, no, I'm serious. Some people are and like I, that. I man. looked it up. I'm like, Oh my god, she yeah. was she was not yeah. messing with yeah. me. Is just crazy or Okay, so um the <laughs> I'm going to give you a quick run over here for Hellraiser. Hellraiser is one of the most highly anticipated releases this horror season in Hellraiser, which is uh, a reimagining of the story first introduced by in the Clive Barker 1987 classic, now helmed by director Dr- David Bruckner, which he's also mm. he's done a lot of good shit like The Night House, mm-hmm. uh, whose previous works twenty right here <laughs> underrated The Night House is also worth checking out. Uh, I actually didn't like The Night House. You didn't like it? I liked no, it. I didn't um, like it. But mostly what I'm excited for is is Jamie Clayton <laughs> as Pinhead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm really I'm really looking forward to that because people are like oh she they're gender swapping her. 
Well, in the books, she's androgynous. Yeah. Or in the books, she didn't have. They didn't. They Pinhead didn't wasn't a, a gender. Sex, anyway, okay. yeah. it was Hellraiser was androgynous. So, so, I, know, I know. I said something about it, and you told me it was androgynous. Yeah. So I was like, oh, yeah, okay. Well, in yeah. the original so, story, they because don't. Actually, they're in the demons. Movie, they're, from what I've seen, it's she. It looks like a woman, but she. Her voice is a man. Right. It's just yeah. yeah. It's everything. Yeah. yeah. So I think that. Uh, I think this movie is going to be awesome. And I think it's already getting decent reviews. I haven't looked at any reviews because I want to go in completely blind to this movie. All right, and let's see here. We have another movie coming out called Significant. I'm going to run right through the rest of these. Another movie coming out called Significant Other comes out on uh, October 7th on Paramount+. Plus. These are all horror movies, by the way. Um, and then another one called uh, Dead Stream, which I, I think is getting a lot of good reviews also. Um, this comes out October 6th on Shudder. Um, and if you don't have Shudder, get Shudder, man. It's cheap and it's, it, it's totally worth it. Um, it's also got a lot of really good B movies. It does. Shudder it does have a lot of very good B lot, movies. Lot, lot, if you lot, haven't lot, checked lot. out Demon Wind on Joe Bob Briggs's uh, last drive-in. That sounds like a like a, like a a fart. It, it might as well be. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best movie I've watched like a, on there yet. It's like a fart. Like <laughs> It has a Lou Diamond Phillips in it but he's not credited he didn't want to be credited he's just a zombie in the movie it's it's amazing <laughs> it's it's just so amazing okay so uh we're gonna jump right into that's pretty much all i have for news this week um let's jump into what has everybody been watching uh let's start with matt matt what have you been watching uh well you know just the shows i usually watch i did watch um a movie called 10.0 uh earthquake it was really bad <laughs> like it wasn't like like the it like it had an okay story, but just like the graphics that they used, like the earthquakes weren't even that bad. Like the ground was cracking open, but like the the things that they were using for the ground cracking open was so bad, mm-hmm. and it wasn't as bit like they were making it sound like it was going to be these horrible earthquakes in it, and it was nothing really. It, so it like was low just, budget, yeah, mm-hmm. low budget, and it looked <laughs> like they tried to, but they they. They used the wrong CGI. It looked like they tried to do a good job, but they used really bad CGI. <laughs> Did you ever see Velocipaster? No, I, no, I but I've heard about it. I've heard of it. There's a there's literally a scene in there where his parents come out of a car and they're waving, and this is like their death scene, and they're waving at him, and he's waving back, and then it you hear like an explosion. And it cuts back to his parents, and it literally just says in writing, okay, like literally just in writing, exploding car. <laughs> like, it doesn't even. Happen. We don't have the budget for that. <laughs> Let's just make this as stupid okay, as possible. I gotta see Velocipaster now. <laughs> it, it, was, it is amazing. I, I kept seeing it, and I was like, Velocipaster. I was like, I don't know if I want to watch that. And then there's also this other one. I kept telling my mom about like horror movies that were weird named. It uh, one was a uh, Killer Sofa. Oh, I've seen it. A sofa I've that seen it. fell in love with a woman. I've seen it. Oh, my God. And then God. there was also one about an evil moose. <laughs> I haven't seen that What one. about the one about the pants? What was it called? Slacks? Oh, we almost watched that last <laughs> night. I think it was called Slacks? <laughs> yeah, we didn't watch it. But we, I, yeah, I heard it, it, it. Well, yeah I, I, yeah. I think it was like an actually like a... It wasn't a, like a big budget movie, but like... Yeah. It wasn't like a low budget movie right. really either. Like, kind of like Milo or something like that. Right, like, those yeah. Those good, yeah. Like that, that was a movie I watched way back when me and Ashley were. It's kind together. of like rubber. It was. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. It was called Shaft, and it was about a killer elevator. Oh man, <laughs> I haven't seen that one. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think it's called The Shaft. You get the chance. Yeah, it's not a porn. It's <laughs> <laughs> definitely sounds like one. <laughs> well, because well, I remember at Amber's, I was like The Shaft. Uh, I mean, I, Ashley's, and I was like The Shaft. I think your parents are getting weird, and she was like, "No, it's about." They told me it's about a killer. It's a slasher. Uh, not it was a horror movie. And I was like, "Well, we gotta watch it." <laughs> <laughs> and you did, <laughs> and you made it through the whole thing. Yeah, we were laughing our butts off. Hmm. I probably would have been too. <laughs> a building that got struck by lightning, and the elevator went evil. There's one thing where a guy skates into the elevator, and then the elevator. Goes up to the top floor and fl- throws him out. Like he goes, it just through the him out, launches and him out. And people of the... are in the building too. <laughs> like it's so, like nobody like else uses this things. elevator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like people just keep using it. I, it was probably the budget for the movie. Hey, we got to clear this building out. Yeah, dude. No, uh, there's a Sears in there, so <laughs> we kind of. We're kind of like we're actually not even supposed to be here filming. So, <laughs> hey, elevator three keeps acting. Yeah. Don't shut it Don't down, shut man. It that's, down. A, that's our favorite no, one. It, yeah. was a, it was an office building, 
So yeah, but it was like it was like, <laughs> it was like worse, people aren't like... even like trying to like because this guy goes and I guess you can try to play it off besides the fact that he's going way faster than any human should. <laughs> <laughs> Just launches like a launches like a fucking torpedo out the fucking <laughs> elevator. Did you see Bill? Okay. <laughs> Damn, quick. Bill. Bill was in a hurry. I guess he was late. <laughs> Maybe he had to take a shit. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he was late coming back from lunch. I don't, I don't know the way he flew out that window. He definitely shit his pants now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get oh, the God. chance to watch it. Yeah. Like it's not, it's like, it's not even so much that it's low budget. From like, oh, well, I remember it looked like it had a decent budget, but the story was just like <laughs> way out there. <laughs> yes, because like sometimes does those, that. but sometimes those are the gems. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're like, dude, check out this movie. All right, Karen, what have you been watching? Uh, a lot, because I've been on vacation, so. Uh, we watched American Horror Stories season two. Oh, that was like the best one. Was it? Oh no! no season one. Season one was, one was, one was, one was amazing. Yeah, season there was only was two episodes house. in this season one. I liked. Two is no. no that's no, no, three. No, three was stories. stories. Oh, stories. Oh, the oh, short, the anthology series. Uh, I was talking about this. Oh, okay. There was one uh, called Aura, which is about like a ring type doorbell okay. that can see ghosts. That one was pretty good. And then there was another episode called Drive. It was about uh, like a chick that goes clubbing. You say dry. Drive. Oh, drive. And uh, that one was the other good one. The rest of them, I didn't care for. So was the whole thing like an Incubus music video? No, it was like it, you the think, song Drive from yeah, Incubus. No, I was thinking. <laughs> oh, and well, episode eight called Lake. Jeremiah hated that episode, but I kind of liked it. Kind of reminded me of the fog. Oh okay. So it was it was pretty good. I mean, kind of. I, I can only imagine that miss. like American Horror Stories could yeah. be hit and miss. The first their seasons the first, are hit and miss. The first like, season was great. Yeah. It was really good. Was the it? the anthology series was Did really good. Run out of ideas. I don't know. I, I mean, really like. I liked I liked season one and season four. Oh, the, the freak the, show. The, yeah. The freak show because I've always freak liked show freak really show good. stuff. Murder House is and, my favorite. My uh, sister's yeah. favorite season was Hotel, but I couldn't get into that season. I liked the first season it, and the second season. That I, was it. I yeah. watched up to the last season where it started getting real political. Oh, yeah. Cult, cult. I think it was. Yeah. And I was like, I got like four or five episodes, and I was like, I'm not digging this. So yeah. I just stopped. They came out with a new one. Oh, it was. I watched the one that was like kind of 80s based. Oh, 84, oh, I think oh, it was I liked that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, I liked that one too, but I Roanoke? like 80s anything. No, I don't know. I liked Roanoke. I did. Because, I, but I like eh. I like those those old shit like they were real popular in the nineties where they were like reenactment shows. Yeah. I really liked those. Yeah. So a lot of people hated Roanoke, but I liked Roanoke because of that. It was like one of those reenactment it shows. Was one of those I don't know, I wasn't there. What's a what? At Roanoke. Mm-hmm. Because you know, because nobody's there now. It, yeah. And everybody disappeared. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I thought it was a good joke. Fuck jokes. you guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the season Roanoke is one no, of those. No, it's like a reenactment like because good, they're talking it's about it's like a haunted house yeah, reenactment. Right. Fuck off. <laughs> and then Creep and Creep 2. If you guys have not seen those movies, you should watch them. them they're up. very good. I heard stuff. Very of, good. I heard good stuff about Creep, but I never thought. Oh, about is that the uh, the found footage movies? That Yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Um, and I don't care for found footage movies. And neither do I. That's the only reason why I haven't watched them. But I'm telling you. There is it like a det- attention builder? Um, it's more like it keeps you guessing. Like you keep going. What the fuck? It. I mean, you know something's wrong with the guy, but you you're just not sure what what's gonna happen. You're not sure where he's going. Right. Okay. And it, I might it, have to check that out eventually because I've that, thought about watching. Them and, and you know, you think in the second one, you're like, oh yeah, you know, you know what's gonna happen because you saw the first one. But in the second one, you're still like, What's he is, doing? He, is, he you, you, is he gonna go right or left? Yeah, you, you know, right. I mean, it's, it's very good. Creep one and two, watch them. Uh, Zombieland Double Tap, which I've never seen. I own it, it was all right. It was, but it wasn't as good as the first. But it was. Good. I thought it was every bit as good as the first. That's the thing. That's what I heard a lot of people say though. Is that like they're like, I don't know. If you like the first one, you'll like the second one. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, okay. Well, and I love the fact that like you know she said if she ever found out who killed Bill Murray. She was gonna kill them, and I kept waiting for her to find out. That that's the only gripe I had about the movie. I was like, she she needs to find out. Like that would be hilarious to me if it was like the last 
you know, part of the movie, and then she found out who killed Bill Jesse Murray. Eisenberg's character. Yeah, and yeah. then she's like, I, I can't kill Columbus, you now. Yeah. Like, I can't kill you now. Yeah, you fuck. know what I mean? But you really it, put me in a bind here. Yeah, like, it would just be hilarious to me if that's she found that out, and then she's like, son of a bitch. That should have been like a uh, like a deleted scene. or Well, like they a, did they did have an scene. end credit scene where Bill Murray shows up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. That, that yeah. was pretty good, but anyway. He's, like, signing autographs and shit. Yeah. And the zombie apocalypse breaks out. And then last night we watched Fright Night, the remake which I've always been against watching, but... It's good. But, yes. It's good. Yes. Well, the only reason I watched it was because... one of the better remakes. Well, yeah, we were flipping through, and I was initially like, fuck that. I'm not watching that Mm -hmm. remake, right? And, um... We I actually flipping, have that remake. Yeah, home, we yeah. were flipping through, and I'm like, oh, Anton Yelkin's in that? Yeah. No, I'm watching it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'll watch anything with that kid in it. Yeah. So we watched think, it, and I, I really liked it. It has a I very stacked really, cast, I think really. the only reason it, I yeah, watched it was... Yeah, Imogen Poots was in it. Like, yeah. it, I mean, I really liked it. Yeah. I think the only reason I watched it because it had David Tennant in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved I loved the how he killed him at the end. Mm-hmm. That was really imaginative to me he lights himself on fucking fire yeah and then grabs him yeah and waits until the opportune time to fucking drive that stake yeah that was amazing i've never seen anything it was like a pretty baller before. movie honest i, I really yeah. like that movie like it's uh, uh anton yelkin died so far i mean like in so, such he, in oh. such a stupid way yes and he i mean i'm telling you if he was still alive he'd be like Oh, he definitely. Far above. He's definitely. I mean, he would have definitely been an A-list actor. Oh right my god! Yeah. Well, I mean, he was before he died, but he'd be like Keanu Reeves level badass yeah. at this point. Yeah, I really. I, I miss like I thought. I always thought. I always liked it. I think a lot. Of, the last movie he did was um, uh, shit. He he played this guy who could like see ghosts. And yeah, shit. I know what you're talking about. Odd Thomas. Yeah, Odd Thomas. Yeah, and I like that. That movie. movie was like one of the movies where like uh, you didn't know where the movie was going because it started out as like this kind of like quirky yeah, kind of you thought but it you got really what, fucking serious yeah. halfway through you're like, you thought shit. you knew what you were getting into yeah. and then by the end you're like oh oh you're like no, it got what? really fucking sad you're no. like oh, yeah yeah. <laughs> right? yeah yeah i um i miss him and but i i think i've watched pretty much anything the green room have you seen that yeah oh yeah that was another one with him and uh yeah and, image and uh, poots image of, yeah oh anyway and then like seeing patrick stewart play that yes. kind of yes i was like hold on he's a fucking nazi yes <laughs> and like brutal yeah he fucking was like brutal. hardcore i was like that, that scene where he's got his arm out yeah and they're cutting oh, the fuck out of his arm God, yeah. that i felt that yeah that was pretty sure my kids felt that yeah. they weren't even watching it <laughs> hey, hey take note <laughs> yeah get the fuck out of the bathroom or this is gonna happen oh i'm taking God. a shit leave me alone <laughs> yeah, <'cause> like keep <laughs> your fucking like you, you open that door that's what's gonna happen to your arm oh man that was fucking <laughs> rough it's probably one of the one of the roughest things i've ever seen in a movie yeah it was it was it was pretty hardcore oh man anyway i'll watch anything with him in it so when we were flipping through i'm like nope i'm watching it but yeah that's what i've been up to madison what have you been watching you weren't prepared for this part. no <laughs> like hold on now you didn't tell me what the bullet points were. pop quiz <laughs> yeah <laughs> That new episode of My Hero came out on Saturday, so I watched that. My Hero Academia. Halfway through, and then I forgot to watch the rest. <laughs> Sounds like a good episode then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, she well, forgot well, about the it. Well, isn't out yet, so it was really hard to keep my attention because they weren't actually talking in English. Oh, I got you. Okay. So, yeah, so, I can't I can't watch anime without it being dubbed. Like, I can't read the whole, all the shit. But I did get I mean, I can read, read, but I don't want to. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't want to read all that. All that. Kind of, that's going to suck for you this week. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you don't want to read. God damn it. Are you picking a foreign film or something? Yeah, me. I'm caught between two of them. Oh, just to let you know, there there will be a chance. There's a video a movie that I would like to watch again, and there's one. It is, it's a very good movie, but it's, it's not in English. You have to read the movie. So I will be picking that one out, too. Whatever you guys, <laughs> <laughs> making shit difficult. It's not gonna be for. But Halloween I promise you, anything. it's worth it. Yeah, we'll see. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've also been. I rewatched the Chucky show. Yeah. Just because I forgot what happened, and there's supposed to be a new season coming out sometime mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. year, I believe. Yeah, uh, this month yeah. actually. This month, yeah. And um, I'm ready for it. I re I rewatched the whole show, and let me tell you, after you watch it the second time, it's really cringy actually it is very you there's some parts of the show you're like yeah. i think that's kind of par for the course though because the movies that's, were that way well that's I essentially mean, what's know. happened with chucky at this yeah. point they pretty much turned him into this like the first of, movie was like 
kind of terrifying, you know. The first but, movie was definitely the best. Of yeah, all of and them. then like as it progresses, it gets that cringy factor. And at <laughs> this point, that's what everybody wants. Yeah, pretty so, much. Yeah, I yeah. love his love. That's, that's why certain so certain series <laughs> certain series should just die off at a certain point, and you know what I mean before if they don't want it to become that. Yeah, because that's what I, they did with Jason. I, I made. Think about I, it. Yeah, I made the. I don't really like it when they go past a trilogy. I don't either, honestly. That's I, why I'm like. I, with the Scream movies and everything. I'm like, would you just stop? I love the Scream yeah. movies. I also watched those this week again. Oh, my God. You watch a lot of shit. I don't watch a lot of stuff. Just the Scream movies. I've watched it so many times, I can't even count. She does. She loves the first Scream movie. It's really That good. a girl. Especially the end of it. Billy and... Um, <laughs> That's the best <laughs> we, part. We, we talked Billy about that in another yeah. podcast. So That's funny. the best part. <laughs> <laughs> my mom and dad are going to be so, so mad, mad at me. Wait, I remember for actually, a long time I had a Scream 2 shirt. I bought it like Neil's NASCAR. And it was like the one I hadn't seen. And I didn't watch Scream 2 for a long time because I had the shirt. And I thought it was funny. But I always wore the shirt and never saw the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that is not funny. My, my favorite line from the movie, it's like, oh, what's your um, What's your mo- motive? What's Billy your has motive? one. What's your motive? Yeah, yeah he's like, what, what's your Peer motive? Peer pressure. And he's like, peer pressure. I'm far too sensitive. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> this is why he's like the most loved character from the whole mm-hmm. franchise. He was only in one fucking him, movie. Everybody wants him to come back. Yeah, like and how? It's like, it, but it's like, guys, he died. He's dead? Like, like he, he died. Like, yeah. died, died. Yeah. <laughs> that, he was he stabbed back, several times. If he comes back at this point, I'm calling bullshit. Yeah, I'm, just calling yeah. Bullshit I'm done. On the I'm whole done with fucking it. Thing. Are you talking about Matthew Lollard? Yeah. 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 All right, so uh, I have been watching... We watch, We finished up... Uh, Bun- or not Bundy. Fuck. Um, Dahmer. Dahmer. Dahmer on Netflix... Um, that show was really good. I really, I really liked it. Did you watch, have you watched it yet? No, but I saw a TikTok that was really funny. <laughs> was it, a, oh, oh yeah? <laughs> it was, a, it was like some dude was watching a scene from Dahmer and I, I honestly, I haven't made up my mind. I'm, I'm going to watch it, but probably after the hype dies down just no. because I, I just can't bring myself to do it right now. Yeah. But anyway, just... so he's, he's like shirtless in the scene and like greasy looking like he almost looks like he's trying to model or something <laughs> like the way that they were sh- he is they, like extra muscular yeah maybe that they were trying and i'm to- like there's no way Dahmer looked like that <laughs> right <laughs> but it was really funny because so like it was it was uh it was like he was shirtless and he's like standing there and there's like this gay guy sitting on a couch and it plays that um taylor swift song and there's like a fan blowing at the gay guy <laughs> and it says try you're trying to make jeffrey Dahmer hot for me and that's not cool or something <laughs> like that and uh then it cut to another gay guy and he's like you know he killed people right that's are you fucking kidding me <laughs> like, it was really funny i think that uh, i saw a meme of a lady and it oh, was and like he was like and he was gay yeah. And he killed people like you. Yeah. And you're Evan getting Evan hard Evan over Peters, yeah. a guy who I, killed people like yeah, you. Yeah, it's funny. I saw a meme on Facebook, and it was this, a picture of this lady, and it said, me trying to not find Evan Peters, or trying to look for reasons to like Evan, or something like that. Like, essentially what it is, she's saying, uh, stop making Evan Peters play weird fucking people, because it, it, so I don't feel weird for thinking he's hot. Exactly. So, it's like <laughs> the well, first American Horror Story season. He literally, like, raped the girl's mom and then everybody looked right past it because he's they think he's hot i don't think i don't think it was that so much i think it was more like all of the other things he did for violet like he raped the mom because he had to he thought it was going to get him what he needed to get out yeah and then he was he was tricked right but he legit loved violet tried to save her life failed failed and then tried to make her as comfortable as possible in that house in that house so that's why everybody fell in love with so him that season are we is, is this american horror story or a yeah. soap opera okay. i don't know i'm still waiting on you to get back <laughs> to your shit uh also i didn't watch a lot this week but i did watch um a new movie that just came out on digital uh bodies 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 yeah yeah I with was... uh it's got did any of them hit the floor they all hit the floor. <laughs> um, but it had... Uh, had. Uh, I did watch the trailer, by the way. Pete Davidson in it. Yeah. Oh, that's and, right. There's a reason not to watch it. And I got a question about Pete, Pete Davidson. Does anybody else feel this way? I just have to ask. 
He's not an attractive person. He's not no, funny. No, he's not. But here, here's I do think he's funny. Here, let me ask oh. this question though. Like, he looks like John Cryer, and everybody thought he was unattractive. We're literally one generation removed. How the fuck is this guy so hot to everybody? I don't know, man, because this dude has pulled so Have much. Have you seen Ho John Cryer? Okay. This dude has pulled so much Hollywood tail. That's like, what I'm like saying. Like big name the, Hollywood tale. Right. Like Ariana Grande, fucking uh, Kim Kardashian. You know I've what I mean? Seen like things where uh, it said. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not him. That's, that's John not Cryer. Him. That's I don't like. Honestly, John Cryer is more attractive than hair. Pete Davidson. No offense. No offense. I don't like facial hair. I think it's gross, especially if it's prickly. I don't like facial hair. But that's John Cryer. Okay. Does he not look like Pete Davidson? I don't know. She, she doesn't know who oh, Pete Davidson okay. is. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll help you out. He's but, not. Um, no, uh, I seen a thing that was telling, it was like what his girlfriend, like his ex-girlfriend's telling him why, telling why they were attracted to him. I'm going to tell you right now, Ariana Grande and uh, Kim Kardashian are nothing to write home about. <laughs> Am I wrong? He looks so Kind of, yeah. We're one generation removed, and all of a sudden this who, guy's hot, but everybody else thinks John Cryer was nasty looking. I don't remember who Jim Cryer is. I, I always thought John that, Cryer wasn't bad John looking, Cryer, but, uh, but then like this guy comes out of the fucking woodwork, and everybody thinks I he's hot, think and I don't Davison understand is it. Good looking. I think he's a oh it's ducky. It's ducky. I don't think he looks like no. That guy's a he's a better lot looking. Way looking, but he well, looked a lot way looking. My, my point, <laughs> he looks a lot better. My point yeah. is, this guy wasn't good looking, but Pete Davidson is. I don't know, man. I don't. I've never really met anybody that said he was attractive, but maybe somebody. Maybe he's got a really good personality. Maybe I know that his dad died in nine eleven. He did. Um, and he is a good stand up comic. I think yes, he was funny. I did watch his his his. his he is funny, and he he was on SNL for a long I don't time. Think he's funny. He was at all. he was did you watch stand up. He was Chad uh -huh. in in SNL. <laughs> yes, that, that's probably the funniest. Yeah. So, uh, thing I've but seen anyway, so the movie uh the movie was um, I wouldn't watch it again. No. I don't. I don't no. think he's funny. I think he's annoying. And his stand up too. I thought his stand up was funny. I think his stand up's good. But uh, I, I think like that I think that it, it was an all right movie. It just wasn't my taste. Mm. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Oh, that's a little disappointing. I did watch the trailer. And it I is. Thought it I mean, looked, don't get me I wrong. I think you should funny. watch it. Yeah. I just myself, I watched it once. It was it was an all right movie. It's just not my not my thing. It was like Spring Breakers meets like I don't know, fucking. It's like Spring Breakers meets I know what you did last summer. It's like not, a slasher okay, with well, a bunch of fucking... Okay, well, what's going to happen, then I'm probably not going to watch it because I didn't care. I, As a general rule, I don't really care for what you did last... Or I know what you did last summer. But the twist, the twist in the movie is what makes the movie. So is that's it, why I would... Is it a good twist? Like, I'll be surprised? Kind of, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm not going to... I don't know if you'll like it or not. I, I didn't... Me and Crystal looked at each other and we said, eh, it was all right. I wouldn't watch it again. Mm. <clears throat> that's just how we felt about it, but... It was just kind of one of those movies, though, where it was like a bunch of teenagers, well, teenage people, and partying, and bullshit, and you're just like, you know. I got that from the trailer, though, and I kind of was like, I'm, I don't know if this movie is going to annoy me. But it was like. It might annoy it you. It was just funny you know, enough that I was interested. It would annoy, it will annoy you until the first person dies. Then you're like, they're not so annoying now. Oh, you good, know, they're dying. Well, I watched yeah, <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> I felt bad. I felt bad when I watched the tape. Because none of them are likable. None of them were like... Nobody in the whole movie was but likable. maybe that was the point of the movie. I think maybe. it is. Based I think it the is. Trailer, it because like I think it. it's supposed to, like, kind of... It's supposed to have, like, a hidden commentary on how young adults are nowadays. Mm -hmm. You suck. know what I mean? Huh? They suck. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah. That they they suck. They're shitty fucking people. Um, this new, Madison is a young adult, for those of you. I yeah, think. she's 15, so... Yeah. But she's a good 15. Yeah, but she's raised yeah. by Joseph, so she can't be she's, that bad. She's not that bad of a kid. She actually hates most of your woke bullshit nowadays, so, yeah. I like her. But, uh, no, I was saying I felt bad because I was watching that. Because I haven't done this for a while, but there was that, that I was watching that 10.0, it was a quick movie, and there was a guy in it, and I was like, I, I, I really hope you die first. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> like, he annoyed me so quiet. So That's fast, whenever you like, know a movie is like, <laughs> whenever you walk into a movie and you're like, and somebody comes on screen, like, they're introducing all the new, the people that are going to be in this movie, and that one guy walks on their screen, and you're like, I hope you fucking die. When we but, were dude, <laughs> it's a fucking, it's a goddamn, you know what I mean? Going it's, back to, like, a Yeah, it's a drama, it's a, it's a dramedy story. or whatever. American Horror Story, Apocalypse. 
that season for Apocalypse, that blonde chick. Oh, my God. I was like, I hope you fucking die. And then she didn't, like, forever. I, I think that. it took for fucking ever before I hate she that. Died. Was it satisfying she when she died? did? Yeah. I don't even remember when she died. It was, like, towards the end. And I was like, fucking thank God. <laughs> Sometimes, dude, you're just like, God damn, why haven't you bit it yet? Yeah, yeah because like, she, was, she was literally, like, the one that deserved it the most. Like, See, the thing, like, look at it from my point of view. Okay, so I watched Game of Thrones. Yeah. Okay, I watched the entire series, and... One of the worst fucking people in that whole series was Joffrey, which was yeah, like he was that. supposed to be king or whatever. Yeah. You know, he won't act anymore. Yeah, because of that role. Yeah, everybody hates him. <laughs> everybody hated yeah. him, even though he's a super nice person. Yeah, yeah he really But is. Uh, he went back to stage and stuff like that. But, oh, uh, is that where I yeah. he did stage? But uh, he, uh, so whenever he died, it came out of nowhere for one. and you're, But it was satisfying and yet disappointing at the same time. Because <laughs> you're like, fuck, who am I going to hate now? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I gotta yeah, hate no, somebody I'm in this sorry, goddamn not show. That way. There are so many people on that show to hate. That's true, but not, <laughs> not not hate on the level that you hated Joffrey Baratheon, dude. <laughs> Joffrey was a fucking dirtbag, dude. He was the worst kind of person. But then they brought in, uh, what was that fucking one person's name? Um, the guy who sick the dogs on people? Yeah. Oh, uh, I forget his yeah, name. Yeah, whenever they brought him in, like, that's your new Joffrey. And he was a fucking piece of shit. And the sad part is this. I really like him as an actor too, <laughs> because like he was in The Misfits and he was in uh, he's been in all kinds of shit and he's a great fucking actor. But whenever he died too, and he died be- at Jon Snow's hand, dude, that was so satisfying because he pretty much about beat him to death, <laughs> and then they sicked him on his own dogs. I, I hate when I hate when they do that when they make a they take a movie and they're like, oh, this guy's gonna be like a brutal bad guy, and he's like one of your favorite actors because then like you really feel bad for liking him. Yeah, you're like, god damn it, I'm not supposed to like this guy. But anyway, so that's what I've been watching. Um, uh, let's uh, move on here. Let's get into uh, let's get into our movies. No, wait, 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 wait. That's how I felt with eighteen and seventeen and Dragon Ball Z. Like whenever they first came in, I actually really liked them, but I felt bad or this wrong show is for want anime. liking them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not a good person for Dragon Ball Z. I am. I know what you're saying. Yeah. I get it because I like awesome. them too. I still like Android Seventeen. She's the shit. That's eighteen or eighteen, whatever. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this week we are talking about Hocus Pocus 2 and the original Hocus Pocus. Why did you say it in that order? Because that's it what I said. It kind of annoyed me too. I mean, uh, good, I'm glad it did. <laughs> I was kind of going for it. I was like, I could say 1 and 2, but I was like, that's too simple. <laughs> Gotta make things simple difficult. To Gotta no, make things different. All right, so I hold wrote, on. I wrote down my notes in order that they happened in the movie. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I just gotta say one thing right about the, about when they hung the witches, they would have not died that quick. Maybe they, Maybe they snapped their necks. Their necks. No, they they were know. not far enough it. to snap. Okay, so um, <laughs> uh, Hocus Pocus two was made in 1993. Stars Bette Midler. You mean Se- the Hocus Pocus one? That's what I said. You said you Hocus said Pocus two. two. Well, don't fuck I with me. I thought said three. I hope, I hope it confused <laughs> you guys, and I hope it pissed you off. No, it didn't. I oh, honestly okay. didn't even. I didn't, didn't You're even, like, no, it just it was it stupid. Yeah, it was stupid, and it didn't even register. You sounded like me. an idiot. <laughs> 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 I didn't say that. <laughs> you uh, did. <laughs> Hocus Pocus 1 came out in 1993, starring Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, Kathy, Kathy Najimy, directed by Kenny Ortega, and written by David Kirshner. Movie is rated PG, comes in at an hour 36. All right, and then Hocus Pocus 2, 2022, at a uh, stars the same fucking people. <laughs> uh, Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, Kathy and Jimmy, directed by Ann Fletcher and written by Jen D'Angelo and David Kirshner. Comes in at an hour 43, rated PG, just released uh, Friday. Um, which would have been the first or no September 30th I don't remember something like that just came out on Disney Plus so if you want to watch it go check it out on Dis- they're both on Disney Plus as a matter of fact um, Karen do you want to give us a plot synopsis sure put me on the spot though well I've I- got them right here on my phone but I was like I mean, Let's see how prepared this bitch is. Listen, you, <laughs> sometimes you want me to do it and sometimes you don't so how about you fucking tell me I hate. I get tired of reading, man. Well, you gotta fucking tell me though. Like sometimes you want me to do it, sometimes you don't. <laughs> After three hundred years of slumber, three sister witch, three sister witches. That's weird. 
are <laughs> accidentally resurrected in Salem on Halloween night, and it is up to three kids and their newfound feline friend to put an end to the witch's reign of terror once and for all. Uh, and then Hocus Pocus too. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. 29 years have passed since the Sanderson sisters have stood in the streets of Salem. Black Flame Candle is alight once more, and the sisters are on a revenge mission. Three high schoolers are charged with the task of stopping the witches before chaos rocks Salem, but Becca, Cassie, and Izzy must act quickly. They only have until midnight on Halloween to save their town. That's kind of bullshit because it was only two of them for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like that one joke of like the very fucking end, and all they needed was her blood. Right, exactly. Um, all right, so let's unwrap this fucking shit bag not to, case not to mention thing. They didn't even do that. Spe- that spell wasn't even worked at the end. The spell wasn't worked. Why? They didn't have a spider. I know they used a stuffed spider. Yeah, it wouldn't have worked. Well, and I, I kind of <laughs> had a question about that too. They said, you know, that they needed a lover, and if Billy was telling the truth, he never was her lover. Right. So. Maybe it would work because he actually was Sarah's lover. Well, technically, so, like, if he was a lover of one of them. Technically, maybe? that's why I figured. Technically, I in Bet in Bet in uh, Winifred's eyes, that was her lover. It was her lover one to her, but not count. to him. Yeah, it would count. I would think it would count. Yeah. I'm more weird about the spider thing. So <laughs> I think the spider was kind of bullshit. Yeah, it is kind of bullshit. It was a stuffed spider. That yeah. doesn't count. It even squeaked when but it hit the ground. But they were in the woods, so maybe there was a spider that fell in. Let's not go there. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay. Just throwing it out there. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, I mean, I, obviously I have some gripes about the first movie, but the second movie I have a lot more gripes. You know what I mean? Like, Okay. I don't have I, gripes. I, I, I have, I, well, I have gripes and questions. Okay. Let me put it like this. Let's, <laughs> let's do this first. Let's go around the table and let's do would you recommend and would you watch again for both. Okay. The only def- – okay, I did not like the second one. I, okay, well, hold on. Let's start with the first. The first one I love. Would you recommend it? Yes. Would you watch it again? Absolutely. Second one, would you watch it again? No. Would you recommend it? Depends on who I'm talking to. Like a kid or... Yeah, if... if okay. I mean, because I don't... Uh, the only defense I have for this movie, and it's not even a good defense, okay? <clears throat> because they should have cared about our generation. Yeah. Because 1993? Yeah. That's oh, yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. So they should have given yeah, I would have been, a, they they should have given a shit. I don't even know how old about eight. like us caring about the movie. Oh, it's Hollywood. They don't give a crap about But him. I don't Ooh. think we were the demographic. Right, yeah. They did not point that movie at us. So that is the only defense I have for it. That being said, if you're in that demographic, you might like it. Okay. Matt, what about you for the first one? The first one, I would recommend it. I mean, if you're into witches, uh, my whole thing is I've never been into witches, uh, even when I was Your little. glasses are crooked. He knows. Well, even when I was young, I didn't, I don't, I've never liked witches. Right. So, um, uh, I would recommend it, if, like, if, if you're looking for a good old movie. Like a good, uh, like a good family movie? Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, Hocus Pocus w- is a would good Would you one. watch it again? Well, yeah, I've watched it many, many a times. Okay, well, what but, about the second one? Uh... I would recommend it because you've seen the first one. Okay. And I'm one of those people that if you see the first one, you got to see the. It's second. all about like uh, it's more of a completion thing. Yeah. <laughs> and that's really what it is to me. It's like you got to. It's a completion. Thing. Would you watch it again? No. Okay. <laughs> it was a straight no. <laughs> all right. Uh, so Madison, would you would you recommend the first one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> would you Would you watch it again? No. Or yes. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were talking about the second one. Okay, this oh, isn't well, an we actual. Already, we already know where this is gonna go. All right. Well, the second one. Would you? Would you recommend? The same thing as Matt. Only if they've seen the first one. Okay. And would you watch it again? No. Okay. Uh, see, I'm kind of on the I've same. I've already had to watch it twice. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I've. I'm on. The, I'm kind of in the same wave here. I'm. I. I would recommend the first one, and I would recommend, and I would watch it again. I've seen it several times um, because it's a fun Halloween movie with the kids and all that. Especially if you have kids, I would definitely recommend it. Um, the second one, uh, I would recommend it to kids or to an adult, maybe even that is into that kind of stuff uh, or that or have seen has seen the first one in that. Like, yeah, of course you got to watch it. You know, um, would I watch it again? That's a fair point. Would I watch it again? No, I'm not going to watch it again. I don't. 
it just it it just no it doesn't have the nostalgia and the i, I will get into all that mm-hmm. like all the stuff that i find to be why it's inferior compared to the first so anyway let's uh let's let's uh unwrap this shit bag so uh there's only one shit bag that's the second one <laughs> calm down okay so first off i'm going to talk i want to talk a little bit about the first one okay um because let's face it it's a classic uh yeah. and honestly it didn't even do that great back in 93 it was actually a bomb yeah um, and i think a lot of that had to do with the time in which it was released because wasn't it released sometime like in the middle of summer yeah it was like, like the middle that? of summer they released it it yeah. wasn't even around halloween yeah they yeah. they released it sometime in the middle of the summer and like mm-hmm. it just didn't do well. Yeah, I bombed. Mean, yeah. Um, so uh, so well, the first thing I noticed, and this isn't a gripe or anything or anything that I had an issue with. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but in their house at the very beginning, whenever they're coming down the steps and the little girl scares the dad or supposedly oh, scares the yeah. dad. If did you know that there's a painting of the house that they're in on the wall inside yeah. the house that they're in? Yeah. No, I didn't know. Yeah, that. I was like, it, hold on, I is that the know. fucking that's, house? That's <laughs> actually like that's actually because the house that they filmed in the it had house to be in, like some kind of. It's like, a historical house. And okay, the, and the the people that live there, they actually have that painting, and it just it's, okay. It stays okay, there. I just wanted to make sure that that's what the case was. Yeah, it's. I'm it's, like, so hold on now. These people just moved into this house and said. I want a painting of this house in my house. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, basically, like that's, they found it in the attic, and they were yeah, like, oh, right. we're going to put this right, right there. So, I yeah, I just thought it was kind of weird. I'd do, do that. I'd make a pitch old. Again. <laughs> Listen, who cares? Like, okay, <laughs> this, this, I do, this I do not understand. I didn't understand when I was a kid. So, right at the very beginning when they first get Emily, yeah. right, and she's sitting in the chair... Like she literally just sits there. Yeah, she does nothing. She does she nothing to nothing. Wasn't but, she? But, but here, no, he, she. Mm, I don't think so. I don't know, because man. Because Danny, they had to tie her to the chair. Yeah. She wasn't under the spell though. She didn't hear the song in the beginning. Oh, you can that's, hear the that's truth. true. I guess. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but, but like, still, and, well, hold on now. Yeah. Here's another another part of that that's fucked up. He literally sat there at the top, of, like up on that. St- Thing. Just watching. Just watching this whole time while they made their brew. Yeah. And then even gave it to her. And he's like, stop. Yeah. Like, dude, you've been sitting there for 20 fucking minutes. Yeah, they, he waited until they gave it yeah. to her. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. stop. Yeah. Who goes in? <laughs> yeah, you're a little bit fucking late. Yeah, man. you sat there for 20 minutes. Now you're going to jump in and save her? You well, dipshit. And, 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 like, like, okay. sitting at but I, lo- I loved, I loved how they have this giant cauldron and you know that fucker's hot oh yeah uh-huh. and they're like pushing it back and forth barehanded now the witches i can kind of understand because they're probably they're witches right yeah but he's like barehanded and then he picks it up and topples it like he that's like, a lot bare- of weight dude and, and barehanded yeah. you know that thing's hot and he just mm, fuck you just, mm, okay your, yeah okay. maybe it's like maybe it's very like hollow you know what i mean like there's not really a lot of have you ever tried to pick up a cauldron? No, I haven't. Yeah, they're, they're, I know it's very heavy as shit. I know. Like, you go back like well, there's, if, they're fucking galvanized steel. Yeah, if you ever go <laughs> like we would used to go to like those pioneer things back when we were yeah. kids, and you know they'd have like you know the houses you could go into, and they'd have that like whole setup where you could go into like the old kitchens back in the day, and they'd have them big cauldrons where you could go and touch. I mean, and even the small ones you could go. They're fucking get, heavy. They're heavy. Well, it's like a cast iron skillet. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you use a, a cast iron steel, they're fucking heavy. They That's just heavy. a skillet. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the Emily thing. Um, I know she's a kid, and she probably has ADHD, but in the background... No, what you the could- fuck? <laughs> you there was no interaction with this Emily girl. She died. Yeah. Remember? No, <laughs> but no, she has ADHD, no, like... No, no. I mean, her... I'm not even sure that was... No was that a thing? In this, was ADHD a thing in the no, 1600s? I mean, her actor. Her actor probably has ADHD or something, because in the chair behind, while they were talking or whatever, you could see her in the chair moving, like, fidgeting and stuff while she's dead. Oh, oh I didn't even yeah. notice that. I didn't even notice that. I, I'm going to have to... Like, I've seen that movie I, hundreds of times. I know. I've like, never even, like, looked She's at probably it. got bored with just being there. Like, You know, the thing is, though, I always watch dead bodies. Like, in movies, I'm like, that motherfucker's going to breathe. You're waiting for I him know to move. Will. Yeah. I know he will. Exactly. Actually, I'm going to have to watch that now. I'm going to yeah. have to watch Emily the next time I watch it and be like, that bitch is going to move. Well, you can tell because she, she was yeah. moving in one scene. You can tell that they must have yelled at her or something because she wasn't moving. Like, she would, yeah. Like, hey, listen, listen. Somebody give her fucking pills. Give her the pills. You got to stop moving. I'm trying to film a fucking movie. I will replace you. Where's Kirsten Dunst? 
<laughs> Get me Kirsten Dunst. <laughs> That's hilarious. Fuck, dude. Oh, my God. But, like, so it was fucking just... Fucking unprofessional like, little fucking nine-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was just morning when they show up. Mm-hmm. Because Thackeray just woke up, right? Right. Like, it was just morning. Was they were like there for ten time. minutes, and the villagers show up, and it's dark. It's fucking exactly. dark. Which means he was probably watching the whole thing go on. They probably started brewing that shit as soon as yeah, they... Yeah, like, how long did that brew take? Right. I mean, I, it, he could he, he could have snuck down at any point and grabbed his sister. So, I mean... Right. Right. I mean, if he got the right opening, I'm just saying. That, well, not to mention his buddy kind of failed him a little bit. He's like, yeah. "Go get the others, hurry!" <laughs> yeah. and then he runs he off, and then it took like, all it fucking. It day. took all day. Like, hold on, hold on. All day I'm to get back. like ten. I'm people. hungry. Maybe let I me get something to eat. Let first. me finish my fucking coffee oh, before yeah. you go screaming <laughs> in my ear about missing children. <laughs> no, not just any missing children. His missing yeah. sister. And why didn't Binks like tell his dad? Like he can talk, right? Exactly. We, we've established that. See, I kind of, I'll, I'll give him one thing. Maybe he didn't know he could talk until later on. You know, are we talking about as a cat? Yeah. yeah. Because I, because I even, I, I, I was wondering about that. I thought maybe he, the only reason he could talk was because the witches were back. Oh, that's a good point. That's yeah, a, that's they never really. But, but no, but then, but talk. then, why didn't he talk to uh, Max and? Uh, Danny's parents to prove to them that the witches were like That's what real. I was thinking about the other or oh, yes, Maybe too. they're the well, Cuz if 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 I'm trying to prove to my parents cuz she she even holds up the cat and she goes Look, this, this cat Binks, can talk. And he can talk. Yeah. Well, he, he doesn't, doesn't say, say anything. anything. He just sits he, he's like he's like well, I'm not going to prove he's you like, right. Meow. Well, maybe, maybe <laughs> Yeah, he's like I'm not going to prove you maybe right. Maybe they can maybe they they maybe they can only hear hear the cat because they are the ones who maybe because they're actually the because they're they children were, because they were there when the or the maybe it's because lit. they're children or maybe oh, yeah. they were there when the candle was lit they're yeah. part well, of the if, curse if max and danny were children then or not danny uh alice were children then why wouldn't they have followed the voices too yeah like that, that, that was my thing is like well if they're they trying to older, if so. they're trying to absorb absorb the souls of children Max drinks the shit, and she's able to absorb his stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're not. I said that in a very non-sexual way. (laughs) (laughs) Bette Midler is not a cradle cradle robber. That we're aware of. Yeah, I don't think I don't think so. I don't think she is. (laughs) No, but you know, here's the other thing. Like, okay, so Jay and (laughs) Ice, they're like the bullies in this movie, right? Yeah, Um, they're complete perps. Very bullies. Yeah, not only are, not only are they pervs, but dude, they're complete opposites. But but but, hear me out. <laughs> if they if they were like in our high school, they would have gotten the shit kicked out of them. Yeah. Well, they would like, not be the bullies. They you know what it reminded me of? It, was, it, 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 out of it reminded me of like if Billy who, who would have been scared of those guys? Nobody. Not one yeah, fucking nobody. person. Yeah. It, it, you know what they reminded me of? It, it, it reminded me of it if Vanilla Ice and Billy Joel were friends. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like that's what it seemed like to me. <laughs> and, and, and why I mean by their pervs is there's actually a one part where like you want to go look in girls' windows while they're changing. Exactly. Yeah, what, while they undress. What, why was that it's okay? It's three in the morning. They're already undressed. <laughs> they're, it's three in the morning. They're already undressed. <laughs> but why is that an okay thing for kids to Especially do? Especially for a PG movie. <laughs> well, the thing is, is this movie wasn't supposed to be so PG. Like, no, it was. It was supposed wasn't. to be a little bit dark. It was supposed to be a darker movie. It was, and it was supposed to focus on the witches a lot more. Yeah. yeah. And they do that a lot. One thing I will give them for the new one is they do focus a lot more on the witches they but tried the, to go back to that yeah but the problem in the, the first problem one. with the new one compared to the old one is that the, they had so much more energy for these characters back then yeah like they 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 so well acted well, they're, they're just so goofy like especially like sarah remember how dumb and like ditzy she was look, they really they time. really took that away from her in the new one look i i think bet midler Got to make a second one, and I'm happy for her. Oh, for sure, yeah. I'm, I uh, love Bette Midler. Don't yeah, get me wrong. I'm, I'm I don't ha- dislike any of these actors. Yeah, I'm happy for her. I just think it was unnecessary. Yeah, for I, sure. I wish that they hadn't done it, if yeah. I'm being honest. Um, the Mother Witch, I wish we'd have seen more of her. She that wasn't, her, was she wasn't their mother, person. though. That I'm pissed about that. Well, they call her the Mother Witch. You know what was that, funny? Is okay, that- but, but in the first one... <laughs> They, I, that's another thing I have a problem with on the second they, one. I they feel, praise they mother. They shit on the first one in a few ways. Yeah. Like, in the first one, they keep talking about their mother. Yeah. Mother's pie. Mother, you know, mother. And, like, how much they love their mother. And, like, mm-hmm. you know, mom cooked for them. And mom did this. And mom did that. 
All yeah. of a sudden, in the second one, they don't have a fucking mother. Yeah, they like it's just they some live by random themselves. bitch in the fucking woods that hands them a book. Yeah. <laughs> and didn't didn't in the first one they said that you know Winifred was given the book by Satan himself. Yeah, exactly. I think they do say that. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. all of a sudden a it's some random bitch that apparently was their mother. Yeah. Bullshit. Also, my big thing too is what's the, what's the second one? Where is the mother? That was my main question. That, Where that's my is point. The no, mother? that their mother yeah. never existed. The witch was there. there. Well, mother. then I think that they should have at least, at least, maybe even alluded to the the mother witch coming back, because the fact that she just like hands him a book and then disappears for but no, fucks off for the rest my, of the movie. But that's my point. I don't think that that would. I don't think that she was supposed to come back, even an illusion. What? I don't. I don't think that they were even retroing that at all. They were just saying they didn't have a mother. Okay. And that's what pissed me off. Hmm. Um, Disney does that a lot, though. Yeah, What's they up? kill off the mothers. But it, they're, 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 in the first one, I know. I'm I just mean, saying. I'm <laughs> saying. But yeah, the, Disney does that a lot. Those yeah, kill off the mothers. Uh, one thing that I really, I really just didn't like about the f- second movie, they, I hate that Disney's doing this more and more. That they're they're taking villains and making them semi good. Trying to make them. Trying, trying to make. make trying to like, make them less villainous. Yeah. Like, I, Winifred at the end, like, where she becomes, like, this good, like, I just want my sister. Right. Like, okay, I understand you love your sisters. Sure. But, dude, she was way too... She was... Because when they said... Uh, she was way she too submissive to at the end. that she loved, my first thing is she's going to die. Because she don't give two craps about her sister. She's more about right, herself. exactly. In the first movie, she was like, why was I uh, cursed born, with such cursed idiot sisters? With such, yeah, yeah and then sister. even in the second and one, she like, says, "Lucky, I guess." Even, <laughs> even in the second <laughs> one, she's like, "What?" <laughs> in the second one, she even calls them vermin and stuff mm-hmm. when they're talking about the spell. Mm-hmm. So, well, yeah. I mean, I think it's one thing to take people from gra- for granted because you know that they're always going to be there, right? But then if they're gone and you realize like they're gone. And you realize how much you did care for him. I can kind of understand that as a character development point. But the fact that she but, like essentially begs those girls to like, can you help me? Can you help yeah, me? Yeah. She you wouldn't do that. Now, yeah, and can read it. okay, and this is another point that I feel like it shit on the first one. The fucking book chooses a white witch over exactly over, over the dark Winifred. witch. Oh, that's what no. I was say earlier. Um, yeah, I think no. The whole devil giving them the book thing. I think that was a conspiracy made up by the humans later on in the season. And it because could have been, but... Yeah, because she never specifically says that the book was given to her by the devil. Right, and and that that's that's possible, but I guess my point is, is that you know, one plot point is that, you know, they keep talking about their mother in the first mm-hmm. one, how much they loved her, they talk about her cooking, they talk, this is a mother, this is somebody that exactly. raised them. Right. And now all of a sudden she didn't, she didn't exist. And right. she's the one that gave him the book. I don't understand where their parents were. They could have explained that maybe a little. Like, even just a one-liner or something. Like, oh, yeah, if mom and dad hadn't got ran over by that horse and buggy. You know what I mean? But, sure, like, sure. or something but, like that, you know? But, you know, I don't, th- I don't think that that, that, I don't think that, that was the intention. I think that it was just, like, you just have to accept what we're telling you. Yeah, exactly. And fuck off. I don't, yeah. I don't agree with that. And I think and that... And I really, really, really hated that the book goes oh yeah i'm gonna go over here and be with this white witch now exactly i hated the fact that the teenager was all of a sudden a witch like it gives a fuck like i don't want you to be the central plot point i don't give a fuck about you right maybe yeah. that, they did that just so they could maybe have an opening for a no third. see the, 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 the issue the reason they did that is because in the second one they were straight up trying to glorify witchcraft that's what they did in the second one. They were trying yeah. to glorify witchcraft. See, my issue with the second one, <laughs> I and I think, that, the, but I, I think the, I think that I think that really drives the second one down, and what what it makes makes it feels like, or makes it feel like a uh, uh, lower budget film or like a made for TV film are those three girls. Yes. They make it feel like it, it, a Disney feels, Channel it, fucking yes, special. It, it, yes. You know what I mean? They yes. make it feel that way. Not not. Not Bette Midler, no. not Sarah Jessica Parker, no. not huh. Kathy to Jimmy. Like they, they make it feel like a a a, a they, an A-list they, movie. Yes, but those 100%. girls don't. They don't make it feel like a big budget movie. No, because honestly, no, some I of the hated sets, them. I some hated of the, them. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some of the sets looked a little cheesy. Sure, but for the most part, like it looks like a good movie. Mm-hmm. Like the the part with them in the garage mm-hmm. where they're standing, like that that sh- uh, that shot where the garage door comes up and he pulls up with his car and they're in that. 
Circle oh, of yeah. Salt. Yeah. That was a good shot. That yeah. was a fucking high you know, dollar shot. That was yeah. a good. I really liked that shot. I was like, man, that that is some good cinematography right there. Mm-hmm. I got some things to say about the house. Actually, the house, first of all, probably wouldn't have existed as long as it did because I'm pretty sure the villagers would have burned it down because they would have thought it was evil. Well, it depends. Um, Second of all, even if it was closed back then, down, you got to understand. Hold on, back then. They would have stayed. They would have avoided that house at all costs, and yeah, they would and, have most and, likely burn it down. No, they wouldn't burn it down in 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 fear of being cursed. Well, either way, okay. But then there's also a part where it's the museum, which is fine. But when the even if it's closed, wouldn't they still have a caretaker to clean up? Oh, in the first one, yeah, yeah, you'd think so, yeah. Because uh, there was oh, a lot of trust me. You think there's some. Gri- I've got gripes about the first one, like the part where he walks in. And he, he's able to take this zipple that's apparently yeah, covered in works. dust, and he just lights it. No, no, <laughs> uh, no. I'm actually, a zippo they, guy. They last a long time. The the not that long. No, no. Well, they said it was only it was only closed for like two years or something. Doesn't matter. Like I guarantee you, if you you could fill up a zippo lighter, mm-hmm. and it might you might get lucky if you go back to it in two weeks and it still has fluid in it. Oh really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's nice to know that that was just not me because my zippo fl- lighters did not. Yeah, Stay they don't hold the fluid down. very long. It 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 actually <laughs> evaporates quite quickly. So I have I have like this is the one thing that killed me. So you know when uh, Winifred decides to bring back a zombie, why did she decide to bring back the one guy that had no reason at all to help her? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying. I just like, love that he was conveniently right there. She you know? poisoned him, killed him, and sewed his mouth sewed shut. Sewed his mouth shut. Yeah. And she goes. I'm going to bring back the one guy that has absolutely no fucking reason to help me. Yep. Well, if you think about it, nobody else in that grave liked her from the second movie, though. But in the first movie, I don't think... I think that... She's a witch. I nobody think the biggest now. thing if she, was... But she, if she's a witch, I think she, she could probably him, bring back anybody I think she, she would have brought him back. I think she would have brought him back just out of fear, fear spite. Like, out of pure, pure. spite. Pure spite to, to just be her servant. Like you yeah, but he doesn't have to be. That's true. He doesn't have to be. And he's not gonna. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't. I would. I'm like, yeah, fuck you. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. You know? But well, yeah. He, you know, at the end, he totally had time to react before his head got knocked off. I'm just saying. He like, he, he, he's standing there like... Oh, also, like, like, huh? Danny, too, whenever the witch is coming down to, like, pick her up, she's just standing here like this, oh, looking no! at other people. What are you doing? Move! <laughs> yeah. Duck, do something. Um, yeah. I thought it was when, after the teacher tells the story in the... Uh, in the class, and the guy says that you know, Halloween's just made up by the candy companies. The girl who told the the one girl who says what she's not even right about how Halloween was invented. Uh, Sawin and all that. It wasn't Sawin. It was actually created by the druids, and it was created as it's called. It was called Samhain, and it was for the. And they did think that there was. Uh, it was the time that spirits could t- come through. Yeah, it was where it was, it was the time. Holiday. It was the time was, between. When the, the veil between the living and the dead is the thinnest, and the I, dead can... It, I thought Samhain was pronounced Samhain. Like, that's it how it's actually it might pronounced. Have been, yeah. uh, uh, but, what it was, was back in the day, uh, they would sacrifice... It was a way... It was it, it was the it time was of the year... Thing into the fall. Yeah, it, it, fall it was going sources. from the nicer months into the, into the colder months. Yeah. So they would sacrifice it's, animals it's and sometimes veil, even humans the, to, to help... Uh, because that was whenever death was most prominent was during the winter. Well, it's so the they would sacrifice when, uh, an animal or a child or something like that to uh, better their odds. It was the, they it believed was the that druids, at the so. time the veil between the living and the dead was at its thinnest yeah. because of what we know now, you know, time changes or yeah. you know the, the way that the earth you know reacts with the sun and mm-hmm. the way that you know it becomes darker earlier and everything. They they thought that that all had to do with you know. Oh, the spirits, you know, are making it darker earlier because they want to come, you know, back, well, and you know that's. Well, you know, that well see what because what I'm dark, talking about yeah. mainly the girl because I watched a show on Halloween. How was it? She says it was called Hollow's Eve. It wasn't called Hollow's Eve until way. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was it was Solomon for a long, oh, yeah. long time. Can we can we just talk about <laughs> can we can we talk about um Sarah Jessica Parker's uh, eyebrows? In the second I don't, for even, just, don't even just a started. second. They were all right in Holy the first shit. one, but the second one. Holy shit. Dude, she's got some crazy neck muscles. 
I didn't pay. I was too. I, I, this all right I here yeah. was <laughs> like I I, they, it was Sarah like Jessica they Barger's were fine just like, until you got to about here, and, and then it was like, like caterpillars. I remember like having the. Uh, I remember being a kid. Shadow. I mean, I was like, was Sarah, I remember as a kid, I had a crush doing? on her on Sa- on Sarah from the movie. Yeah, but and like, then you it, realize later who she is. And yeah, you're like, wait, that's not the same person. Yeah, you're like, she's ugly, dude. Like, yeah, she is not an attractive person. Yeah, I just I don't think that. I don't know, like, like I said, they don't bring the same energy to this movie, to the second movie that they did Mm-mm. for the first one. Well, they're like, I know that older. they're older, like they're thirty years older. I mean, they're Mary they're probably all good, grandmas. She didn't bark as much, and it kind of bothered me. I know, I really liked it when did Mary you know barked. She actually had they had to put like a uh, like a fat suit on her to make her look as big as she did in the first Are one. Cause she, she's lost, she's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, yeah. She didn't even look as big though either. Still, no. And I just I think that. No. One of my one of the first things that I really didn't like about the the second movie was as soon as they come back they jump into a dance number like a yeah, fucking yeah, song. I wrote what that down that? too. I'm like, why? I'm like, Hold on, we just had one dance number, dance and song, yeah. and the first one. Can we just stick with that yeah. formula? Because and that... then even the second one wasn't even good. No, it wasn't no. even good. Uh-uh. And then like the end song, like during the credits, I was yeah. like, that's dumb. I don't yeah, need that. Now we're number three. I'm, I'm over it. Yeah, the first and second one. I want to know how in the heck they know words the modern songs. Uh, They're I, witches. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Yeah. They didn't what? even know what year they were in. How are they gonna know what what it's songs? A kids popular? movie. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe they so, were just going by like the beat. They didn't actually know what they were saying. Mm. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I liked the dance number in the first one. It was fun. It was like the yeah, best part of the movie. Exactly. Yeah, it was really good. But the second one, man, they like it was overkill. Especially coming it back. It felt forced. It was very forced. Like the especially the first one where they first come back. And then they just jump into a yeah, dance, break and then right they even the say like, "Who are they singing for?" They're like, "For you." Yeah, you know, at, like a little jump She's like, "You." Yeah. yeah. So I was just like, <laughs> I was like, "All right, well, this got weird." So right yeah. off the bat, like, okay. And then I have this question too. So in the first movie, we're shown what the house looked like when the sisters were alive, right. back in the 1600s, yeah. right? So it it's clearly on the water. You see the the wheel. Yeah. Right, it's right. it's a right. mill, right? You see, you know, Binks climbing it when he's a human. Yeah. Water. Yeah. So Factory. the house sits on what? Water. Water. Right. Yeah. We have a basement. Ex- that's what I. In the second one, it wasn't a basement. In the second it was a one, it's space. in the middle of the town. It wasn't a cross. Well, that's space. because they yeah. built the town well, around the, it. Yeah, but I mean, they built the town around. In the, in yeah. the beginning, in the first oh. one, there was no town around it. It was in the woods. No, it wasn't. There was a town around it. Yeah, there. Well, it was you still just in the woods, but it was it was like. Is there a house just in steps the Forbidden away. Woods? Because no, no. Why wouldn't they be in the Forbidden Woods though? In the in the first one, you see the kid the kid Binks run into the woods to get to the house. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes, in the second one though, it's it, when the in the second one though the town is built around it. Those buildings were not. If you also know Salem looked totally different than it did in nineteen ninety three. And it was not in the middle of the house. It was well, still Sydney, in the woods. Sydney doesn't look the same as it did in nineteen ninety. That's true too. But also, one thing that you have to understand, dude, is the first movie was completely filmed in Salem, Massachusetts. Yeah. Uh, yeah the I, second one was not. Right. Most of it was done. A lot of it was done New uh, Hampshire. in New Hampshire and on a soundstage. Mm-hmm. So they didn't do a lot of the filming. I don't think they. I don't know if they did any filming in in Salem. No. I well. So, well, I think I, they they might have filmed a few key spots. Like I think the town hall area i think that's in salem i think there's a couple of spots that's in salem but for the most part dude they didn't hardly no, film no it was uh rhode island it was primarily oh. shot in rhode island and reshots were done in astoria and queens new york yeah the original was filmed in salem and marblehead massachusetts and a few scenes were filmed in hollywood on sound stages Dude. and i even wrote i thought the second one looked fake yeah it it does and I knew that before we even watched the movie that it wasn't filmed in Salem, which really killed it. All is another thing that really killed it for me because it didn't feel. I tried to learn as little about the second one as possible because I wanted to go. I didn't into know it. this. I didn't know this. It was just kind of one of those things that was kind of thrown in my face. So. I I wanted to go into it like with an open mind as much as possible because I really didn't want my own prejudices to. I will say. I, I, I try. I, I really, will say. Really try. I went into this movie. With no hope for it, and I came out thinking, well, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. That's exactly be. how I, yeah. So 
I'll give it that. Like, mm-hmm. it was not... Do I think it's a terrible movie? Not by a long shot. It's not a terrible movie. I thought the ending saved it just a little bit. I think... Don't get me wrong. I say that I hate the fact that the Disney's turning these villains into better people or whatever. Exactly. But, dude, seeing Bette Midler's character kind of weep over her sisters is honestly kind of fucking tear-jerking. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. And, and as a character development, well, sure. Part. Yeah. Sure. And you see it in... But Bette the the Midler, but Bette Midler, Bette Midler sells it because she's such a good actress. She I does. fucking love Bette Midler. She's dude. amazing. <laughs> I think you know, as character development, it, it's great. It makes sense. But I really just, I had a, I had a big problem with, you know, the book leaving her for this white witch and for this other girl her that getting book her powers. Might as well have been married though, <laughs> like the way especially she in the first one. Well, yeah, and and my thing is, is like it it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Though. And and then then them trying to like push this new witch on us. Like I give no shits about this girl. Oh, I give no I don't. shits. Don't get me wrong. I don't yep. think that the girls were they did poorly. I don't think they did bad for the movie. No, but I I feel like it was so forced. To it was say, very like, oh, forced. She's a, yeah. she's a witch, and she's, yeah, like it's a new coven. You know, blah, like, blah blah. I don't. But give one a note. Shit. One note that I did say about the movie was that. It's trying to push a positive message of sisterhood, which is good. I like that. I like that whole thing that they were trying to do. But they could have just done that with the Sanderson sisters. Because at the end, it showed... But they were trying to show you two spec, two different spectrums of this of this whole sisterhood narrative. Like, oh, this girl here respects her friends, and, and they stick together. Whereas Bette Midler's character, Winifred, uh, was selfish and, and only thought of her sisters as pawns. Yeah. There, there was another thing, though. Like, the candle, the black flame candle, in the first movie, they said it was made out of a man's fat. So yeah. how did the guy make it a hangman, in the second Hangman's fat. Yeah, hangman's fat. Yeah. So how did the guy make it in the second movie? He one? said the book told... There was the book. The book, yeah, yeah. The book he helped him make it. He had trouble finding the stuff. You can still find, he can still find the stuff, but he's trying... I think he's trying to make it say that the book told him a different way to make it. Probably but instead he, of a hangman, because technically it's an executioner, you could go... Get the fat of an executioner, which yeah. is still a thing. A person who uh, sent throws or the switch. throws the switch or whatever, you know. Yeah. So. I don't know the the basement thing bothered me because, and maybe they built it after words, but like. But there was no storage. They're having anything. water underneath it. It wouldn't have had a basement mm-hmm. originally. That basement looked too new anyway. I, it wasn't a basement it, anyway. It was a crawl was, space. But they knew it was there. Is my thing. They wouldn't have known it was there what, unless it, it was there when they were. That's what I'm saying. There. It looked new, couldn't so it, I think that it was. Couldn't it be a magic basement? <laughs> well, it did have magical stairs. Maybe. No, this, she just made them disappear. Yeah, yeah, I know, she I was just kidding. Yeah, I, I'm just saying, like the witches knew the basement existed, which alludes to the fact that the basement existed when they lived there, which is impossible because the house sat on water. Exactly. Yeah, I guess. Maybe they didn't care as much back then about, like, you know, crawl space damage and things. <laughs> but why would you have stairs that lead? I mean, you. And, I don't, you I don't know. Is that, is that your biggest gripe about this? No, movie? I just, it doesn't make sense. That's why I wrote it down. <laughs> of course it don't make sense. But I can tell you, there's a lot of things that don't make sense. There are witches in this movie. <laughs> I don't think it's right how easy he gave up. I think his that's shoes. a legit thing to say, though. Like, <laughs> there's a basement was, now? And Max in the first one? Yeah. Why'd he give up his shoes so easy? Dude, you're from I LA. That's what exactly. I'm saying. <laughs> Nobody's scared of these motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> dude, you're from LA, her, too. His how? little sister was less scared of her, the two That dudes. is yeah, such a trope, too, in movies. It's like then, where there's like a little sister and she's not scared. She's got scared. bigger balls than yeah, the older brother. It's such blah, a blah, trope. Blah. And you know, and the thing, too, also, when he comes out and like she's trying to, oh, I got my brother with me. And then he's they walk away and he's like, you humiliated me. No, dude, you humiliated hey, your Exactly. Yeah, you did exactly. this. Yeah. <laughs> All you had to do is like at least stand up to him. If you get the shit kicked out of you, at least you didn't. At, yeah, you know at mean? least yeah. Come yeah. the fuck uh, on. Like I think that, that the especially brother- with the anger issues that he sh- they show he has, mm-hmm. he's not like his character would not back down from you know what I mean like he would stand up for himself and he would probably fight them he was standing 
out for himself more against the Sanderson sisters than he was. Yeah, to his do attitude that. and his anger, like Dude. he he would have fought those guys over those shoes. I, but, that that sprinkler thing, that was that was fucking smooth. That was though. that was smooth I, when he stood up there and was like. I'm the great and powerful Max, and he fucking. And she's like, like she's like, she's like, like oh, the, 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 what did he call it? The burning, um, rain, the burning, the burning rain, rain of, of death. death, and they're like, oh, the burning rain of death, and they run underneath. And him. then they're like, oh, he makes fire from his hands. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, like, that was smooth. That was smooth as fuck. Um, I, I, He's holding fire. I, yeah. I, I liked the the brother and sisters relationship though. Like, oh yeah, at, at the beginning, and then also at the end, I think Max was a good brother. Well, see, and I think you, they know, were what, you know what I hate about that. that. You I know think, what I hate about that little oh. girl is she's a brat. No, I hate that little girl because I know her from other movies. You, Later you on, saw what she became. Forehead. Yeah, she, well, she does have a big forehead, <laughs> but she like in in she was in a, yeah she was in American 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 Beauty, Beauty and, you see and the boobs, uh, they're she goes topless huge. in American Beauty. Yeah. So seeing her at such that's a young age, see. that's yeah. her. Yeah, that's all I could see too. Like I'm, I'm like, sitting there like, oh my god! I only see like, like American Beauty like once. That's a great movie. It I is love a, it. Oh, yeah. it's one of my favorites. Um, whenever the it was just weird because I remember watching that movie and being like. Dude, that's the little girl from fucking Hocus Pocus. That's mm-hmm. weird. Like You know, but like you were talking about the sisterhood thing. I think they were trying to recreate, you know, that that Danny and Max thing. Yeah. You know, like where you had that dynamic between this the you know, Sanderson sisters and these friends. Mm-hmm. And they just did a bad job. Yeah, but, I think uh, I think you're right there. I think uh, that they uh, just uh, no, they're they, trying to execute something and they executed it did, poorly. Did Correct. Did you guys so. notice that Max had a pinhead skateboard and it was really cool? Yeah, I did. Did you notice that in the second one, uh, whenever they're in the classroom, the girl with the blue hair was wearing a Freddy Cougar sweater? I did. Mm -hmm. Um, And did you guys notice that when they were in the um, carnival, there's a game in the background that says, Dost Thou Comprehend? Is that what it was called? (laughs) (laughs) Dost Thou Comprehend? Well, I'm I'm pretty sure you guys noticed the the couple that was dressed like in the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then also there's two guys watching the movie. I hated that. that. I hated that. I hated that. When that came out, I'm like, are that you was that was me? actually a nod at the LGBTQ plus community because the two gay guys were saying yeah because what it was oh, was were they gay guys I thought they were just high <laughs> no they, yeah <laughs> that's actually believable too <laughs> but no that was a nod at uh, because the reason why uh, the first movie grew so much traction over time was a lot largely because of the gay community um, so I can see that I can see it was that. a huge nod at the gay community for the support. Of the first one, yeah. I think that's what they were trying to do because uh, that knocks it down a, a point for me. Why? Because there's gay people, or well, for, first of all, it's um, it, it it doesn't really knock it down a point, but I just get tired of the gay thing being sho- gay and transgender being shoved up in. It's everything. not. It's not. It's. I don't think that's what they were trying no, to do. I, I agree. They, I think that they were just. A nod it was a nod to they, the gay community for you. being supportive. They, it's like a thank you. Yeah, it's exactly. A thank you. So it's there's it's them saying thank you for being supportive and making our movie as making wonderful as it is. Making the first one have such yeah. a good following. That's exactly when it, when it bombed to do. initially. I and which is cool, you know. I'm, I'm you know that's cool. You know, give a little nod. The only I just didn't like it because of the fact that um, they were watching the movie in the movie. That's what I yeah. I, you know, I didn't like that. that, or the fact that they're dressing up as characters from the first movie that really wouldn't be relevant. You know like what I mean? The girl that was dressed up as Madonna again, and the no. devil guy. Yeah, the devil guy and his, his wife, wife, and blah yeah. blah blah. Which, by the way, they're brother and sister in real life. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, hello. so. Yeah. Oh my bad. Is oh, I don't idea? know if I wrote that down or uh, not. Yeah. I think I that's just kind that of. Guy yeah, they're brother and sister. Him, I didn't know they were brother and sister. Yeah. But I don't uh, know if I wrote that so down I just, I just, I just, I just didn't like that. I didn't. That was one of my, one of the things about the second movie that I was like. Don't do that. You know what I mean? mean? I You're yeah, trying to like, make it too meta. And it doesn't you know I mean? make any sense that, like, why would they be watching a movie that technically doesn't exist because it That's wasn't what I'm a movie, saying. it was real life. That's like, what I'm saying. Like, it I, was too meta for me. I can't fucking stand that too when they do that shit. It was almost oh. like a scream movie, kind of. Mm. You know what also, I mean? you, know, you know, one thing I'm wondering is he lit the candle. Why was everybody like it was a bit a weird thing that he was 15 and a virgin? I that's yeah, a, I, I don't didn't know. get that either because I was like you're a virgin you're a virgin like you're yeah 15. I know because he kept looking at his girlfriend or Alice or whatever and like you're a virgin like with and her? what's funny you know what I was thinking the whole time is like what if she would have lit the candle yeah <laughs> is she yeah. a virgin 
<laughs> yeah, she. <laughs> no, because he was like, "Want to do the honor?" She was like, "No, thank you." That's what I thought. That's too, whatever. He was like, "He was like, you want to do the honor?" She's like, "No, thank you." Probably because it wouldn't work, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's hilarious because we were watching the second one, and I don't remember who said something about uh, the virgin thing. And uh, I said, that's always a thing in these movies. Somebody's a virgin or whatever. And uh, I said something about Monster Squad. And Jeremiah said, oh, no, they they, they weren't a virgin in, in uh, Monster Squad. And I said, yeah, they were. And he was like, no, they were a virgin. A virgin. <laughs> you remember? He's like, is she a virgin? Is she a virgin? <laughs> it's funny because uh, in the second one, I like that kid part where the kid's like, what's a virgin? <laughs> And he's like, well, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, because it's so funny because nowadays you get a lot of movies where someone who's the whole never virgin, lit a huh? He said someone who's never lit a candle. Yeah, somebody who's never lit. It's so funny because <laughs> nowadays, <laughs> yeah, that's that that something I would have been with somebody who's never lit a candle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then that kid's gonna light a candle, and be like, I'm not a virgin anymore. I'm not a virgin anymore. <laughs> like five years hey, old. Hey, 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 you seen how the mom was looking at him? That's not his problem. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, he's like, doesn't matter. She's not. A, she's lit plenty of candles. You know what I mean? If you get my drift. If you get my drift. <laughs> now, like this kind of bothered me in the second one too. So in the first movie, they 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 put that spell on Binks, right? And they have that one scene where they're all putting the spell on, and the girl and the sisters, you know, do their little spell yeah. casting with Winnie and um. In the second one, that well, they yeah, she says twist the bones and bend the back, and then they go it took up, you know, whatever. It took up, but good. Yeah. In the second one, they <laughs> they the cast. Malika, Malika, Magi- there you go. Magica. Magica. Yeah. Ma- Magica. Magica. Yeah. Mystic. Mystic. Mystica. Yeah. So, in the second one, they cast like three spells, right? Yeah. And the sisters always just have those words. Like they don't have any so other. Like they, 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 that's all they say is. Well, if you that's, notice, that's all. That's yeah. all. That they, they're just background singers. Yeah. They just always well, say the same thing. In the in, in the uh, in the third movie, though, I mean, in the third? second one. I hope there's not a third movie. Oh God. <laughs> in, the, in the in the last in the second one, the girls they they realized that we just know the words. Yeah, but. My point is, is that like I've never seen which. Didn't we just go through this gripe with another words? movie where like, oh, it was, uh, Knights of Badass, and where we're like, so he can just chant anything yeah. he wants. <laughs> yeah, like and, you know what I, I mean. I've never seen like any. I mean, I mean, I don't know a lot of witches to be fair, but like, I don't. I know plenty think, of bitches though. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that there's <laughs> witches out there that use the same words and get different results on their spells. Right, I'm just saying, yeah. like, it I, doesn't I make I sense. I don't think there's witches out there. I'm, <laughs> oh, you're I'm missing, saying, my, you're th- missing <laughs> my point in time. <laughs> there was another part in the movie that I didn't even notice until not this last time that I watched, but the time before that. Um, I didn't even realize that the reason why Winnie turned the stone before she blew up was because she was on the hollowed the, ground. The, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, I ground. didn't realize. Oh, I didn't realize that until I. I didn't. Older. I never yeah. understood yeah. that yeah. until yeah, now. Because I, 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 I questioned that. I was like watching it this time. I'm like, hold on. Why does she turn to stone? Because she's not even supposed to be on hollowed ground. See, no, when I was yeah, a kid, yeah, like, I just now realized because she said that's why. Okay, so yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, I thought it was just okay. because Winnie was like the leader, and then sometime, right, in my, exactly. sometime in my adult life, I realized it was because she was on hollow ground. But she, the yeah. thing is, she didn't turn to stone until she stood up. So she, her sole feet have to literally be on the ground. Well, she was. She started to smoke when she like got up on a, you know, when she got up on her knee, right. and then when she stood up, she started to smoke more. So it was like, as soon as she hit the ground, you could see some smoke coming off of her. Yeah. Well, let me but, ask you this. Would you rather turn to stone or blow up? Both. Turn to stone and blow up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would rather blow up because I don't want to stay stone forever. Fuck that, dude. Unless I'd I'm, love to be stone forever. Conscious. Unless I'm not conscious. What about I you, man? You want to get like, stoned forever? Stuck there forever? <laughs> I'd rather blow up. It was a I joke, you know, get stoned. Up. Yeah. Stoned forever. <laughs> if I turn to stone and then blow up, then I won't feel it. But it'll still be cool because I'm witness. I think I'd rather be stone, turn to stone, because then you got to look at my ass still. <laughs> yeah, but like, that'd be like stuck in your own body. Forever. Not really, though. I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, I'd be so bored in my own head. I'd be. I'd just be afraid of you being know, vandalized. Put, put the How do you one, think like, Billy felt? Yeah, dogs really humping my leg. Yeah, I put that down. I was like, that would suck being awake in a coffin. But he wasn't at the end years. of the first one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 
Yeah, he I was know, asleep. But it, it's just, it's still that was that was another sucked. bullshit part. Like, oh, I've been awake this whole time, dude. No, you. And why are you still in your coffin? Yeah, I don't know about you, dead or alive. I'd get bored. Yeah, <laughs> because actually, because yeah, if he's a, if he was still awake, he could have just ch- chilled out at the li- below where below the yeah at, at the, the crypt or whatever like, in the yeah, crypt. In the ba- yeah, there, was, there were places just, you huh? could have gone, Billy. I'm just yeah, saying, uh, like it, that he wasn't awake. Travel the country. Stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. I didn't, I didn't put like on a mask either. and say I'm allergic to the sun. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't like that either. I didn't like that whole. I was awake the whole time. No, I, I, but up. I will say though that Billy and the jock were the two best parts of the whole movie. <laughs> I love both their characters, good. dude. Well, well uh, yeah, too. yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> that, that was great. I was just making conversation. That was great. Just making conversation. That was great. The one thing I thought was really <laughs> stupid is when the little when the girl comes on the class and she puts a stone on the thing and the girl goes what do you need good luck for that is not a stone that symbolizes good luck how what the how many stone, witches do you know i know people who used to think stones had power joseph <laughs> witches don't exist <laughs> just so you know stone has power she there them. there are there are people out there. I, I there yeah. are people that because that's what I did. I looked up to make, see if that was a stone, and no, that's not one of the stones. That, there, uh, there are people who think stones have power. Maybe that's just Tyler used to think stone. that stones had power. Why? Because it's just a, it's a pagan thing. That's so weird. But maybe that's just her lucky stone. I was thinking that too, and I thought that is the, okay. But I was saying I did she, love that she was like mum, mummering or like <laughs> saying like food. Be, vegan foods. In his that ear. was funny. Look, there was some funny moments. Yeah, in the and then he's one. like, I, I, I heard the word Satan. He she said Satan. <laughs> yeah, or Satan. Satan or something. Yeah. She's like, I was literally uh, uh, whispering vegan foods. Yeah, I was that like, was I don't know nothing funny. about vegan foods, but that no, did sound like some witchery. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. But there, uh, yeah, no, no, uh, yeah. I uh, Tyler used to think that stones held power, and my mom. She don't think that stones have power, but we have a. She has a thing that has like it has the per, the what's the purple stone? Amethyst. She has amethyst, and she has a whole bunch. We have a whole bunch of different stones on it. And then we have a little Celtic tree of life that has other stones on it. And it's because my mom don't think that stones have power. She just thinks they're pretty. But yeah, I my fan Tyler used to think that all those stones had power. I don't. I don't think that uh, stones have power, but um, I, I understand like people. I think that some people... I, that, I'm more understandable if it's, yeah. it's just good luck to her. As yeah, well. yeah, that's kind of how I am. Like, but, I feel like some people just have those things yeah, as like a charm, or charm or something. Yeah. It's yeah, kind of like a lucky rabbit's foot. You know what I mean? Things like that. What I was going by is that's a stone for good luck, and it's not. Oh. Well, maybe it was just her lucky rock. It is yeah. a pretty rock. It, it, it was. It was a nice so, rock, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's 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 uh, get through our notes here a little bit. Um, <laughs> let me get... Well, I've got a lot of fucking notes in... I don't know. I've, we've touched on a lot of them, but... Um, I don't know about you, but Mary was the best part of both. Oh, I, I did think that the girl in the beginning um, that played Winifred, the little girl, the redhead... Oh, she did a good she job. She did a great job, yeah, man. I thought she, she was so good. She had she a lot of energy for her. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, the tapping. Like, you could tell she definitely studied the first movie. She uh-huh. did. Because it's so funny because, like, you could tell she studied the first movie because after that, whenever it comes into Bette Midler playing the part... She loses a lot of what she did from the first movie. So you could tell that, like, she was definitely... She she probably got no guidance from Bette Midler and was very much, wa- like, just watching the first Watch movie. Watch me do you. Yeah. You, you, don't, you yeah. don't tell me nothing. Watch yeah. me do this. And I think that's what it was. I think that's what it was, was she watched the first movie and got no... Yeah. Nothing from Bette Midler. My, uh, my brother, we were talking about this uh, movie at the camper last weekend or whatever, and... He was bitching up a storm, and he said something about <laughs> the girl that played Winifred, and he was like, what was she, nine? Is she supposed to be 16? And he was just going on and on and on. Eric? Eric. Oh, my <laughs> and, God. And, um, hi, Eric. He'll be listening, because he always listens on Hey, Fridays. Eric. Hey, hey buddy. <laughs> but, um... anyway, he's, like, going up, and he's like, oh, she didn't look 16. And I see uh, Kendra standing there with her phone, and I'm like, oh... And so then she, you know, she's sitting there, and then she goes, she looks at him, and she goes, she was 15. <laughs> <laughs> Called you out. <laughs> oh, well, she didn't look it, you know. She didn't look 16, though. She no, really she doesn't. didn't. Yeah. To be fair, no, she didn't. Uh, but, yeah, she did do a really good job. Oh, another thing that I said, 
I don't. I didn't like. I didn't care for the pop music in the second one. So there was a few pop songs in there, like that kind of it fit the theme of like the movie. One way or another, well, but that, that's, I cannot stand that. Well, not that. I'm talking about like the actual pop music for the score and that's, shit like that. That's Disney, though. I know, that, but that's the thing, though, is like it, for the original, there was nothing like that. That's my point. It's, the original was all uh, completely a score, and like the ending, even the ending of the first movie, like the end score. For like where but they're see, walking through the gates of you know, Disney and movies sister. were different than, and this was made for TV. So you're getting that whole, you know, Disney Channel vibe uh, as opposed yeah. to big box Disney. Also, you know. Disney has changed a lot since uh, when they first started. Now they're more into pandering to audiences. Right. Yeah, I know. And it's all about nostalgia for people and blah, blah, blah. What are they going to watch? Not not this movie. This movie was not about nostalgia. They did not not go that route. Another thing that I really didn't like was whenever they they got the candle, right, in the second one, they got the candle and they go out into the the woods and they sit down and there's no buildup to this at all. No buildup to the sisters coming back. Mm -mm. They just like that bitch and do their little chant and bam, they're back. It's like, hold on. Now, you didn't build up to this at all. Mm-hmm. Like, they just kind of, like, come in out of nowhere, essentially. Yeah. I'm not saying that, like, you know, let's put it like this. I was not prepared for it. They didn't build to it at all. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but I don't think they did. I think that it was kind of just poor editing. You know what I mean? On the on the movie maker's I, part. I think, so. it's, I think it's more just, like, you know, it's a made-for-TV movie. Press for time, press for budget. Maybe, just because, like, like, they like, literally sit down, it. do their little chant thing, and they just straight light this fucking candle, like, boom! You yeah. know, out of nowhere, just casually, and then, no, I don't know, they come back, and it, 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 there was no build-up. Yeah. Nothing at all to this, and here they are. And then they come in with this musical number, and that annoyed me even that, more. Yeah, that it, I, I so, was annoyed as well, like, and... Again, I was really trying to go into this movie with an open mind. Well, that that whole set there looked very sound sta- It was well, definitely and, on a sound stage. I did, I did like when you know at the beginning with the girls as young. I I had hope in the first part. It was like you said, Winifred so was doing a great job, yeah. and you know I was like, oh, this might actually be good. And then they went out into the the woods, and that bitch handed her the book and i was like oh maybe fuck. maybe instead of if you guys do to decide if disney decides to do a third one maybe don't Please do don't. it well let me let me finish maybe don't do one about the sanderson sanderson sisters as older you know or in the future or whatever yeah, do it sense. as with these girls back That's in the good. 1600s Thank running you. amok through salem in the 1600s no, 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 no. Yeah, well, that's why I said it. <laughs> no, I told my mom. I, I told my mom I watched the second one because I because I told her, and she and she was specific. Did it, did she do the muck the muck muck thing? She did, and I it said, was yes, she did. I think she if did. they did a third one and they did it like a prequel, I don't think that anybody would give a shit. I don't think they would either. I think that it would bomb. Because mm-hmm. um, it's Bette Midler, it, it's Kathy and Jimmy. Yeah, exactly. Because that, let's face it, they're the ones who sell the tickets for yeah. that movie. I I had I don't know what there was something weird about this movie because when I first saw Catherine and Jimmy. Or however, but my grandma came into my mind. <laughs> like it was weird. Like my grandma uh, Judy, and she passed away years like ago. Like the girl, and I just haven't Harry? thought about her. And she, and like I haven't thought about her in a while. And she popped up, and I was just like, Grandma, <laughs> grandma, grandma? Didn't bark. Your grandma no, doesn't bark. It didn't my, bark at people. Grandma, did she? <laughs> it was something about it was something about the woman's face that just reminded me of my grandma. I like she got Harry. hit She's with a shovel. Favorite. Like she was related to little Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> well, talking shit not not your mom, your, <laughs> your grandma. Talking about, talking about Kathy, Kathy, about Kathy and Jimmy, dude. She does the She's got the no, thing. No, no, it wasn't. Like she should be little no, Nick. That no. might be little Nikki's mom, dude. No, it's what. Her, it's it's what. <laughs> she her. based it off of a. She thought that Mary would be dog like. Or she read yeah, I love script. how she acted like a dog, and then her little brooms. I love how those also acted as dogs. Either that, that or she's just related to Sylvester Stallone. I, I <laughs> think. I think. What, no, it was when I saw her face, and she didn't have her mouth cocked to the thing. That's when uh-huh. I saw my grandma. But uh, no, I was. I was actually going to write some stuff about about the little v- vacuums, but then I realized I think she put a spell on the vacuums. Oh, for sure, yeah. Because that because they're not usually red, they're blue, aren't they? I, have, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, well, and those, those were kind of like knockoff vacuum. brand. I don't yeah. think they were supposed to be like Roomba or anything. They yeah, were just, they weren't they even were just, just calling them Roombas. Yeah. They were calling them Brooms or something. I've, like that. I've brooms. no idea. Yeah, brooms, Bro- brooms or brooms. Or, brooms. Yeah, oh, my brooms are acting weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't know she was calling them brooms. I'll be honest with you, like, 
though that callback was kind of cool. It was kind of funny because they were little the robots or whatever. That was kind of funny, I especially because she was like riding them around. <laughs> oh yeah, they and they and they kind of acted as pets for her too. Well, it kind of you know took is kind of a throwback to the first one where she's riding the vacuum, yeah, cleaner, right, the vacuum around cleaner and then brought it into like this day and age because you yeah. know people all you know just like how Sarah was riding the mop uh, in the first one. yeah she's and now she's Swiffer. riding a Swiffer yeah it, it, I have that, that was, exact that, same Swiffer at home <laughs> yeah that was fun that I think was, anybody that who was, has a Swiffer has that Swiffer no there's a couple different ones really? we have two yeah. different Swiffers we've got Swiffers. one that doesn't oh. have that jug thing that you can squirt things out of it and then we also have the one that just you just attach a pad to it I think we have an off brand Swiffer they're all swiffers we to me. We don't, we don't really use it much. We just sweep the floor with a broom. It's like Germex. You don't. Not every brand is called Germex, but we call we it Germex. Germex. I do love the part in Walgreens where she's like, "Look, Winnie, it's tis, tis the face of a child." Yeah, I, I, I thought that was. Funny. And then she eats it. I'm like, "Oh my god, you are sadistic." Like... Does she say raspberries? I think or something so. like raspberries. She's like a newborn child. And another thing, I, like I, I really. I kind of feel like they they did Sarah's character wrong for this movie because they really did, though. because like in the first movie she had so much more she was such a she goofy was childish. she was childish she was and child. goofy spunk yeah so. she didn't have that in this one mm-hmm. like there's a couple scenes that really just got on my nerves because she just she wouldn't talk like with that childish attitude and she wasn't hopping around acting like an idiot as much you know what I mean and uh, the part where like they're at the the festival or whatever. And, and it's almost like they didn't know what to do with her character because they cut to her and you remember the robots are on the on the on over there picking up the popcorn? Mm. She's over there picking up the popcorn with them. Why? She was feeding them. Or feeding them or whatever. I'm like, you couldn't think of... Like, they're at a festival. You couldn't think of something better to do with her character for this scene? You like, know, nothing? Store, nothing know, at all? How, like How the witches know what a selfie is? Well, they didn't. They were like, what are we doing? And then they took the picture, and looked, then they looked at it, they were like, oh my god, we're young. I thought they... I thought that I, was dumb, too. I thought yeah. it was... Oh, yeah, and then they posed. Yeah, yeah they posed they, for they, the picture. They, like, acted like they Yeah, they, they, they brought they acted the camera, like, and then they were like... Yeah, they were like, they knew what to do with yeah. it. Like, I don't know about you, but if somebody points a weird rectangular box Talking in my face, box. I'm not going to know what to do with that thing. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if I'm and from the fucking 1600s... Yeah, right, yeah. They're yeah. like, there's a small woman in this there's box. Like, come that on. That was funny, though, because that was like a throwback. It was a throwback to the, to the first one. Yeah, a small the, um, woman. He has a the... small woman. <laughs> no. But, or the little, it, he has a little woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> no it, was the, it was the um the stereo. Remember when they go into the, the library? Oh, yeah. Into the, oh, yeah, and yeah. And they're like, I want to. I do love that part where she comes out, and she's like, I want my book. And then she says some French shit. No, she, says, like, she says it in French first, and then she says it in English. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did like that part. That part was pretty fucking funny in the yeah. first one. But that, that's the best thing about the first one. It's got a lot of, like, they knew what to do. It was good writing, and it was, like, these comical parts that you could giggle at. Whereas the first one, it's so, like, it's cringy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I did like the one part where uh, the lady's walking around, like, poison apples, poison apples. She goes... She's like, you shouldn't advertise She's like, you should that. never <laughs> advertise it. If they yeah. know that it's poison, they'll never eat it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's funny to me. I'm like, okay, we need more of that. <laughs> that was good. That yes, was good I stuff. Agree. Yeah. But like, then they're like, this is stupid shit. Like, they get on stage for whatever reason for a contest of themselves. Are you, are you ladies yeah. looking for the stage always. Always. Yes. Like, <laughs> like, really? Come on, man. Yeah. And there was no point in them doing that song or anything either because they did We're looking for the ma- And that's they another thing that fucking drove. They wanted them to show them where the where the mayor was. Yeah. They wanted to bewitch them. And so I they hated... Would them they got mad because they were too slow. I like, absolutely... You guys were making them dance. I absolutely mm-hmm. hated the fact that the whole movie, their whole presence during the whole movie was about finding the mayor. Because That the drove one, me uh, insane, and, dude. Yeah. I'm like, who gives a shit? And the first one, it didn't matter. Like, they went from... It, the, the two movies really... Like, you could have watched the second one and not even watched the first one. Because they were totally different movies. Mm-hmm. They were completely they, different. They were yeah. different vibes, different. Like in the first yeah. one, and the and the first one, that's when they should have been worrying about killing off his descendants and stuff. Yeah, like in the first one, they're yeah. like, "Oh, let's find kids." But they felt like I think that in the second one, they just kind of felt like, "Okay, the kids thing has been done. Let's do something different." What do you think? Like, well, maybe this person from their past wronged them, and that's their enemy, and they need that for this spell, and blah blah blah. It but then good, it just it, it might it, 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 it might sound good on paper, but I think the whole execution was just done poorly, and they concentrate too much on these girls to try to develop their characters 
whenever they already they they don't they we don't care about them that's, because that's what i'm saying i because, gave two well, shits well that's what i'm saying is like we didn't care about them because in the first one we already had established characters even the kids you know if you would have brought back like say the daughter or like the girl like say they brought back uh the girl from the first movie the young lady or even the older two maybe they got married and had a couple of kids Maybe that's who you're tracking. That yeah. yeah, maybe that's the one that you truly hate. Maybe that's the one you're the the blood of your enemy. We even talked. We talked about this a little bit. Um, like Jeremiah doesn't like me to talk about anything we're going to talk about on the podcast because he wants to hear it on the podcast. Right, so I got you. I can't really talk too much hi. with him. <laughs> I try not. Madison to Madison says hi, Jeremiah. I try not to talk about the movie too much either because I don't want to give anything away and things like. That. I try not I, to. I, you want the energy to be here. Exactly. Yeah. Like, but. Even if I do, like, it's so funny because, like, when we started to, to drive home, I started to talk, and he's like, I don't want to hear it. Shut up. <laughs> like, I'm like, okay. All right. But anyway, like, you know, one thing I did say, and I said this to April, was, you know, when I watched Afterlife, when Ghostbusters Afterlife came out. I thought that was actually a pretty good beautiful. Ghostbusters. Beautiful. I thought it was. They, did, was, they did a beautiful well, job. And yeah, that, I thought it was a good movie. This is what I I'm saying. It was a good movie, too. So, what they did right in that film is they bridged the old generation to the new exactly. generation. Exactly. Yep. Yep. So they they in in and and they were and, like, "Hey, here's Vankman's. It's Vankman, right? Yeah, Vankman's kids. Right. Here's his grandkids. Like well, that no, was no, good. It, it, mm-hmm. it was it was um it was um, Oh, you're right. It was Egon. Uh, Egon. Yeah. Yeah. But what what they did right was they had the original director's son. Yeah. Right, yep. son doing it. So that that's a bridge. Mm-hmm. That's a bridge right there. So you have that bridge already. I mean, they brought back the same writer. Yeah, that well, that's what I'm saying. You have all of this original, original uh, talent, but then you have you know the original director's son at the helm to say you know okay this they, is how my dad would have done it. Yeah, and they you know and okay like this this is great that you know you, we're gonna take it this direction, but also let's not forget the older generations that grew up with this, they're not going to like it if we do this. So let's make sure that this is included. Yeah, let's make it sure it's good for them too. Right. Because they're still watching. <laughs> right. So like, you know, when I took my kids to see that, they were watching and I was watching and we were both glued to the screen. Right. So that that's another thing too though is um, we grew up with Hocus Pocus. Mm-hmm. We have to sit with our kids now and watch Hocus Pocus too. And they did not do a good job at that bridge. Exactly. And that's the thing is like, you know, I can't nudge my daughter over here and say, oh man, that's funny because that, I remember that from the first one. Mm-hmm. You can't do that because and there's nothing about the first that's one. That's why when you text me Except for whenever they're like, oh, it's the Binks child, Binks cat or whatever. Yeah. Like, okay, that's an okay callback, I guess, but it's kind of just a blunt in your face callback. I kind of hated that they had the cat in there. Oh, that's one thing that I wrote down. I wanted them to, like, put the cat more into it. Have the cat, like... Cobweb in it more. Yeah. Yeah, but I kind of hated it because it was kind of like, why... Like, he's not Binks. Right. Right, Either yeah. do something with him or don't even put him in there. Exactly. No yeah. Exactly. Yeah, there's no point for him to be exactly. there. Exactly. Other than a the, slight callback. Yeah, yeah. The only thing they did was he found... He was... He, like told him about the second candle. He didn't tell anybody about the second candle, but he it showed yeah. him show, right. having the second candle. Right. Yeah. And, and I think that's very, stupid very also, because he acted like the first one was such a pain in the ass to make, but he's got two? Yeah. <laughs> he's well, got another I, one just in know, a box somewhere? And that that was kind of like when you said, you know, do you mind if Madison joins? And I was like, not at all, because I legit thought maybe I was being too harsh, because... I thought they did a bad job representing us. But the thing about Madison, though, is she has a a deep appreciation for a lot of the older movies that we did grow up on. She loves the old school Ninja Turtles movies and shit like that. Yeah. So, like, she loves that stuff. And she also loves... Is she still a huge fan of Fido? I don't know. I have that movie up in my room. Yeah, so there you go. Good job. <laughs> I, I always that. hated that movie. I raised my kids right around here. On, Joseph told it. me that you so loved weird. it. She I did. That used to be her favorite movie good. whenever she and was a kid. It was weird kid. because I didn't like it at all. She used to watch the fuck but out I of it. But I loved it. I don't know. I just think that I think that this movie uh, doesn't do a good job of introducing new with old and... Don't, I love seeing uh, Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica I love Jessica watching Park. her have fun. I love them all back in that in that role and, yeah, having fun. But I just, I didn't, the movie was not that good. I no. just, 
It wasn't terrible. I won't say it's terrible, and I don't think it's no, unwatchable. No, it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. And I would, and I agree with you guys. I would tell anybody that's watched the first one, you should watch the yeah, second sure. one. Give it a yeah. give it a fair shake. I know people that have watched it, that have watched the first one, that liked it, that yeah. thought it was good. And I'm not going to discourage anyone. I just thought, I really fucking hated those teenagers. Uh, I didn't think that the teenagers were bad characters. I just didn't. I didn't think that they served a lot to the overall movie. I, I think guess. they did like, badly with their characters. They could have. I don't know. I think that the one girl, the mayor's daughter, I didn't like her character. No, I don't and think I think that the other really. friend was kind of like just on the sideline too much. Yeah. Whereas the main girl, she did a good job. I really enjoyed seeing her on screen and stuff, but. To make her like a witch and stuff, I was That's just kind of like. Eh. It's like you're you're throwing that in my face. Yeah. And I don't want to have it in my. Fa- I don't like you're like trying it. to throw a, throw a new generation of witches at us, which we know like is not going to come into fruition. No, and if I you don't, do do another movie, I don't like it. They're yeah. white witches, and the whole point is like we're supposed to. They're supposed to be the bad guys. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I can I can understand she's supposed to be a white witch because Batman even says, "Oh, uh, white witch." Mm-hmm. Why a white witch wouldn't use a spell book full that's made out of human skin? Uh, yeah, that was another. Not thing to mention, it seems like human skin. not to mention, <laughs> it seems like most of the book's spells are or, not good spells. That's yeah. my point. Yeah. Like the, that, I just felt like the book betraying Winifred just wouldn't was happen. Such, it was such a slap in the face to the yeah. original. Yeah. Such a slap in the face. Because just like Madison said, the the original movie. The book in Winifred should have been... They were pretty much married. Yes. You know, even her final words at the end of the first movie was, Book. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. she was screaming for her book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, also, As she turned into stone, Book! Mm-hmm. Also, in the, fir- in, the, uh, in the first one, the book doesn't have its own emotions. Well, that's because like, it wasn't CGI. <laughs> no, and I, I kind of thought... I did think that part on the bookshelf... When they're searching for the book and he's like sweating it, like oh literally, God, literally sweating it, like oh me. shit, they're gonna find me. That was kind of funny. I thought it was kind of goofy. That too. Was kinda I was funny. like, oh, like all right, that's pretty good, right there. Yeah, that was kind of give funny. the. I think to give the book more play in the movie was a good. Choice. Yeah, make him a character. Of make his him own. a character of his own. Yeah. I thought that was a good My choice. Whole thing yeah. with the book. He almost replaces for. Binks in that aspect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, what I mean? I, only I without can, being able to talk. Yeah, I can see that. So he kind of replaced Binks, and I thought that was. Book was a good character. He didn't have a lot of, like, you know, quippy moments, but he was still a good... Like, that part, like you said, on the shelf where he's sweating. <laughs> like, literally sweating That was sweating good. It. Yeah. That was funny. I like that. That was My pretty funny. Is, I, I wrote, how's, how's a book sweating it don't have any sweat glands? Well, he is made out of skin, technically. Uh, but he would. He still didn't have sweat glands. You have to have glands to have to sweat. But also, see, I, I bring stuff into it that really... You, you, can't, realize, you can't suspend your disbelief even for two seconds, can you? <laughs> right. I just... Okay, listen, I've realized... You're a child doing, at heart, aren't you? <laughs> with doing this stuff, I've realized that I make a lot more mo- notes than you guys and try to put a serious note on it, and I need to stop doing that, apparently. <laughs> because, yeah, I, I... I guess I just, yeah. Good job, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one thing that I did say about the first one is, why did the candle look like it's been lit before? It was um, partially melted. The candle from the first movie was. It had it, it, the wick was black. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe somebody who wasn't a virgin lit it once. <laughs> maybe, or maybe um, when they made it, they lit it. To make sure that you know it, it was worked. work, it worked, or and they something. weren't a virgin. Yeah, 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 I don't know. That's the only thing I can. Well, maybe somebody who wasn't a virgin lit it. Before. They wanted it to look, you know, have that have that authentic burned look. Yeah, you know, they had they had that whole true. Aesthetic. I guess. I just hate. I hated the look of this of the uh, black flame can or the black flame candle. In the well, second you don't one. want the black flame candle to look all brand new like it came from Walmart yesterday. Right, that, you want it to have that aesthetic. Well, I'm saying I hate the first. I hated this one in the second movie. Th- that's because uh, yeah. remember he said that he sucked at making candles. Yeah, and she was like, "It looks like it drowned." <laughs> and he was like, yeah, well. I thought it looked like a you know one. The of first the- one looked cool as fuck. It had some designs oh, in it. Yeah, and shit. Yeah. Like, it looked like it looked like um. 
you know, when a tire gets a bubble in it. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> it kind of looked like, look like a blob of fat, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it was weird. Like, somebody made it out of fucking, like, which, which out of, like, of guppy. Funny. Or... It, it, that was kind of funny, too, but I, I really didn't like the, the magic store guy or the, the store guy. I didn't uh, he was, I, I love that guy. Uh, that Gilbert, guy is funny. Gilbert. 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 See, he was in a movie called, uh, what was that movie? I think we, I think you watched it. Uh, it was um, about the Christmas party. Um, it had uh, fuck. Had uh, Jason Bateman and Jennifer oh, Aniston. Office party. Office party. Yeah, I've seen and that he movie. was the he was he worked in the office. He was the DJ guy. He was like, wah, wah, wah. oh really? <laughs> yeah, the same guy. Yeah, same guy. He was also in. If you've never seen this movie, I highly recommend watching uh, uh, Werewolf Among Us or. I haven't got to see that movie. I can't find it. It is anywhere. such a good movie. Uh, he's in it as the main. He's the main character in that movie, and it also has the girl who does all the AT and T commercials. Um, I can't remember her name. I know. I think, but I see her face. she's in it too, and they are like awesome together on screen. They are. She I'm, is so funny and goofy, and so is he. And it's just such a good fucking movie. I just felt like he fell flat for like comic relief. He did, but not not in. If you if you get a chance, watch. Uh, I think it's called Wolves Among Us yeah, or Werewolves based Among on Us. The game. It's, it's called based Wolves off against the, w- w- Wolves Among Us. I think yeah. it's called. Yeah, because I because I remember seeing a preview for it, and I was like, I, I can't. Wait it is a really it's a good. really good movie. I, yeah. I, if you haven't seen that. It's, yeah, I'm not saying he's bad. At it's anything, like a horror. Or everything he does. It's but. like a horror comedy, but essentially it's like based it's, on a video game. Yeah, it's based off a VR game. Yeah, um, it's nothing oh. like the VR game, but. <laughs> um, I just want to say this. Um, Winifred, like whenever she was tearing down the screen for the window, she's got some really pretty nails. They might <laughs> oh, be yeah. long, but they were really. Pretty. I noticed that too. Well, I mean, um, when you're a witch, you don't really have to go to somebody else to get your nails done. You can just go. <laughs> And it probably does, <laughs> exactly. you know, it probably just does it. They're really pretty. And I said this too in the first one, man. Like, they, like seeing the sis, all three of the sisters together on screen, is super awesome. I mm-hmm. love seeing them together because they have such a good presence together, all yeah. together. Um, does anybody have any more notes that? Uh, oh, also one more thing that I had a gripe about the first one. It's why would a married man invite three women into his house to meet his wife? <laughs> I didn't understand that. I, I didn't really. I, I, it always, even as that. a kid, yeah. that bothered me. Like, why is this guy who is married <laughs> inviting three women off the street into his house? Like, <laughs> so. Also, you, I, did anybody notice? Apparently, in 1993, kids were th- thieves. Yeah. <laughs> also, in 1993, all, apparently kids didn't know to confirm the fucking kill. Because whenever they sent them the witches into the fire, they just run out. They're like, oh, my God, they're dead. Like, no, dude. Like, you, they're witches. You don't think that there's a possibility they could survive? Confirm that fucking well, kill. And that, that, though. Yeah. Well, and, like, uh, even they, if it were me. They might have went by, yeah, we're, you it, can kill wolves uh, with fire. That's how I would still them. confirm that kill. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go with that though because it's the candle that keeps them alive. Exactly. The confirm is, the kill. I'm burning, saying if they don't know that, they didn't. I'm not sure they, they knew do that know that. that because that's what brought them back was the candle. I think and that you should confirm that kill. Right. Confirm if that kill. Uh, out, also, one more thing. I and I'm going over my the last Binks of my notes here. Should have known that they weren't dead. Yeah, you would think. Uh-huh. Binks is stupid. Yeah, you wouldn't talk <laughs> to anybody else. I think, yeah, but I uh, my last note is, um, so you notice whenever they're getting ready, before they even do their little number in the first movie, before they get up on stage and sing, um, Max is up on stage. She's like, they're right there. And they, like, cover their faces because they don't fully realize that, like, being called out as a witch... Like they're still in the 1600s. Yeah, they don't know. So that they Halloween don't, they're like covering their faces, like, oh fuck, we're about to get hung. You know what I mean? They kind of did one of those numbers, like, uh, no. I know it's supposed to be like a kind of a comical moment, but at the same time, it kind of made you question. Like, I think they're covering their faces because they feel like being called out as a witch gets you killed. You know sure. what I mean? Whereas the times have changed, but they all laugh at it, laugh but at it they all. Don't, they and don't it kind of shows. It sh- Thank well, you, Max, for that marvelous interview. Yeah, well, it kind of shows yeah, like they how. they didn't know that Halloween was a thing. And then they like when they look up and they see that everybody's like dressed up. Yeah. Like they kind of realize. Just, I just thought that was kind of funny because they like, cover their faces like, oh, shit. They yeah. know who we are. And they're like, yeah, but it's Halloween. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So, but yeah. anyway, that's that's the last of my notes. Uh, does anybody else have anything they want to I, add? I, said, I, I think it was kind of funny that, sorry, Madison, but I think it was kind of funny in the second one that after the guy lost his head, he told his body to follow his voice. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Follow my voice, you bag of bones. Madison, I mean, if she's going to be in these, I don't want to do this anymore. This is, she's just, she's a guest. I don't care. <laughs> That's not nice. You should be nice to our guests. Says who? Well, I am being nice. So I haven't said things. Uh, like hold this. on now. She, he's got a point. Like, she's the one not being nice. Yeah, I'm mm. already. I I already get made fun of enough by you guys. I don't need her <laughs> making fun. Of Surprised I haven't been called Tarantino already. What is Tarantino? Well, you, haven't, you haven't been Tarantino. You haven't been. Movie. Re- you haven't reviewed the movie yet. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. So, uh, does anybody have any notes they want to add? Nothing. Oh, We're no, good. Good. Called the school a prison for children. That is a fact. There's a fucking funny. prison for They're children. Actually, they, they are in the 70s and 60s. They were actually designed to look like factories. Now they say that they are actually designed to look like prisons. That Skip. makes sense. Skip. Are you serious? Yep. They used to be. They used to be built to look like factories because, uh, but now they're built more to look to represent to, to look more like prisons now. Okay. Well. Uh, okay. So, let's jump into it here. Our reviews. <sighs> Matt. <laughs> Might as well right, am I just with. telling you both the ones or am I telling you one? Let's first? start with the first one. We'll go with the first one uh, and and then we'll get into the second one. Um, let's do the first one. We'll go around the table for the first one and then we'll do the second one. Um, go ahead. Let Tell me what you uh, what your score is for the first one. Five. You give it a five? A five for the first one? Really? Okay. Not good. It's not, it's not a great movie, but it's not a bad movie either. That's what five means to me, is it's entertaining. Well, talk to the mic. A five to me is entertaining. <laughs> okay? That's what, it's just, it's not bad, it's not good, but it's something that's entertaining. Okay. Uh, that's good. Uh, so, okay, so a five out of Matt. All right, Karen, what do you, what do you give the first one? Eight. Uh, eight. Okay. Uh, why? Because it's amazing. It was amazing when I was a kid, and it's amazing now. It's funny. It's. It's good. It's just it's just nostalgic for you. So you. Well, it's not just nostalgic. I mean, it was good when I was a kid because it you know had a, you know. Creepy factor. I've always liked creepy stuff, and right. then. It was funny. It had um, Omri Katz, and I knew that Jason Marsden's voice was in it, and I liked both of those guys because I was really a big fan of Erie, Indiana. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I missed it. I uh, hated that that show only went on for a season. I know. I was so pissed. I used to watch it on mm-hmm. Hulu or something. It was, it was, it was on, on Nickelodeon. It used to be on Nickelodeon. On, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, uh, but it was on a streaming service, and I watched it not too I, long ago on a streaming service. I remember uh, a few of the Amazon. episodes. I remember the, the one Amazon. that really sticks out to me the most for those episodes is the one where uh, the housewife was uh, putting her kids in That was in the very first episode. Tupperware. That's that the first <laughs> episode? Foreverware. Yeah. Uh. And then there was another one where uh, his buddy... Um, gets Simon. unlimited money out of the ATM, ATM and he becomes rich. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just, you remember the one where they, else they the town where, go broke though. I think so. Yeah. I remember <laughs> where the uh, it was daylight savings time and the town didn't do it. Like they never did daylight savings time and Marshall decided that he was going to, and so he like set his watch to daylight savings time and then he ended up like being in the town by himself because he went into the future or something like yeah. that. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but anyway, like, I found out that he was in it, and Jason Marsden was doing a voice, so I was kind of excited about that and watching that. And then, um, you know, the witch factor, I, you know, always found that fascinating when I was young. And It's, it's I, different. Something's not done a lot. Yeah. And, I mean, overall, it just has a lot of great things. It does have a lot going for it. Yeah. yeah. And the the humor in it, as you pointed out, is almost like sideswiped, you know, like right. you almost don't catch it at first. And, yeah. then, and then like you go, wait, that's hilarious, <laughs> that's you know. Great. So, I mean. Because it comes at you so fast. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's perfect, you know. Like, I really love the part where she's like, you know, talking to him. She's, you know, does thou comprehend? And, does you know, thou comprehend? And, it, and Mary's going into this, like, you know, tirade. And they, they, explain what? Explain what? <laughs> you know, that. <laughs> shit's hilarious but. yeah it's, it's their it's their banter back and forth between each other that mm-hmm. just kills it you know mm-hmm. what i mean yeah um, and there wasn't at all barely any of that exactly in the second yeah. one it was just kind of like it was almost like they were all just kind of they were almost uh 
images of their former self. Like, it was just like they were, I don't know, they just didn't have that. You know what I mean? Mm. They were very just, I don't know. It almost seems like they it's like they, they didn't try hard enough with the energy and to capture that magic that they had as a group of it's kind of like that that same magic that that they had for like movies like Casper and right. you know like where yeah. they knew what they were doing with with what they were trying to inject into the The problem movie. with movies now that we didn't have back then was that back then they didn't give a shit about a bottom line they didn't yeah. care about like your personal agendas or your woke bullshit. They were just out to make a good, fun fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, they're like, "How? What can we throw in here they're that's going to pull in an audience?" Someone they're worried or, about offending know, someone. Who yeah. can they impress? Yeah, just it, make a movie. Yeah, it's all it, about the it's all about the money. It's, well, it's not. Yeah, exactly. They Especially weren't trying to Disney. follow a formula. They were just trying to make a good. Exactly. Movie they were and, just trying to make a good movie, and, yeah. and Casper did that. Hocus Pocus did that back then, you know. And you can go back as far as the 80s. I mean, oh, they just man, were making good Casper fucking movies. Years. I love it's Casper. It's a fucking good movie. Yeah. I used to watch that all the time when I was young. Yeah. Christina brother. Ricci, baby. Mm-hmm. That, fucking, oh, yeah. God damn, I love that woman. But, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> She's your childhood crush who is now your adulthood crush. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, eight, and it's not just a nostalgia factor. The, the movie fucking holds up. Yeah, yeah. All right, Madison, what do you give it? Uh, a one out of ten for Hocus Pocus from 1993. Well, we used to. <laughs> no, you can. Oh, okay. Oh, now we're allowed to. <laughs> Dude, I was fucking with you this bullshit. the first time, and then now all of a sudden you say we can't do it anymore. Because you said we couldn't. One time! I was fucking <laughs> Fine, with you. we're allowed to do point fives. If I'd have known that, I, I would have gave it. the last one a different score. Oh, my God. I give it an... Give me a second. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to rate movies. You're like, fuck, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> there's this, and then there's this, but I want to be here, but I want to be there. I'll give it an 8.8. An 8.8? 8. 8? Yes. Hold on a fucking no, minute. No, we're doing point five. .5 is what you get. Oh, I'm going to do it at 6.3. Okay, so a 9. You're giving it a 9. That's yeah. a fucking solid number, dude. I don't think I've given anything a 9. Uh, given no, nine, 8 no. is the highest I've gone. Uh, same here, 8. Yeah. We like know. Eight's the highest I've... I think we gave... <laughs> <laughs> no, solely for the purpose Love that you, that it. was the Halloween movie that I watched. I've re- that you know I have a church that's going to be close to my house. Halloween. I'm going to start going. If Wednesday is going to have to be uh, called a church day, it's going to. <laughs> Yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's solely for the purpose that every Halloween since I first watched the movie, I've always watched that movie in this month. Yeah, okay. So it's a good Halloween time movie, mm-hmm. October movie for you. That makes sense. And it does. It, I mean, and honestly, that makes me feel good. You know what I mean? Because, like, it's something that we grew up on as kids. You know, it came back, it came out in 93. I was, like, seven years old. I was seven. Whenever that movie, this movie came out. And so to for me and my, for to know that my daughter thinks so highly of it makes mm-hmm. me proud. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, so it was, my, we did have good shit when we were kids. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Not everything was shit. Huh. <laughs> Actually, everything was nothing. better back then. I was then. Gonna say almost say, nothing. Things was. were way better back then. They had they knew how to make a good movie, and they weren't just remaking everything. Well, the seventies, seventies, sixties, and seventies were the greatest decades for music. Mm, debatable. Yeah, debatable. Mm. Oh, wait, no, eighties, no, seventies. No, I like to think now. No. Because God damn it, it's so fucking heavy. I love it. <laughs> not the rap and everything, but the metal music that's coming out right now is actually really good. It's uh, badass, yeah, dude. I yeah, I do agree. I agree with my daughter full heartedly on that. <laughs> the metal that's coming out now is amazing. I'm just saying it's debatable because it depends on your preference. And it does, 100%. Yeah. 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 That's Everybody's, why I mean, that's why I mean debatable. That's the thing. It's like with movies, there is a strict guideline that you could take for any one person. Like, mm-hmm. all right, we've got the same taste in movies, but whenever it comes to music, because there's so much of it that you, uh, you like your could, could your like, taste could we vary. Could like this much of the same music. And yeah. Be like, oh yeah, we've got the same palette, and then like I I could be like, oh, but this one. But and, this one is good. You're like, like, no, that's no, shit. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. Yeah. You know? Do you like country? No. Do you like country? It depends. See, no, wouldn't work. When yeah. I don't, listen. I'm not saying that I hate all country, but I, as I like one role, country yeah, singer. Like that's Chris Stapleton. When I I'm, like him. That's when it. I'm, when I'm I like, you know, like that old 90s country. Like that was. Oh, that's what. Yeah. See, that's what most people go back to. Right. Yeah. But it's only because it was like when I was a kid yeah. and that my grandma would always listen to that stuff. So like I knew it. So like when I hear that, I'm kind of like, eh. 
Eh, it's fine. I don't... Because I, Mississippi, right? You would think that I would like country music, but I don't. I despise it. I, f- I don't blame you. I fucking hate country music, yeah, too. I, I can't stand it. A whole bunch of wannabes. I don't like country, and I don't I'm, like most rap. So, yeah. But anyway, but, uh, we digress. Let's we digress. get back on Let's get back <laughs> on track here. I, I just, no, I wanted to say, that when, <laughs> I, when I don't listen to, like, my Pandora, which is, like, Skillet and all that, I usually listen to folk music. That's okay. different. That's not country. That's it, it different. Can be considered fo- folk no, and blues no, no, no. There's so many. Folk I like bluegrass, man, but I don't like country. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like that song Redbone. I forget who it's by though. Uh, Childish Gambino. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so all right, so my rank, I'm gonna have to go with a. I'm gonna go with a six on this one. Um, I do like Hoka, uh, uh, six and a half. I'll give it a six and a half, since we're doing point fives now. Six point five. <laughs> So, I like this movie. I've loved it since I was a kid. But it's also one of those movies that I've seen a hundred fucking times. And So, you can't... You, your rating goes down just because you've watched it? Now, hold on. Times? Let me finish. I'm just asking. Don't, don't fucking interrupt I'm me. I'm just asking. <laughs> so That's not the movie. It's fault. not... It's not... The movie has actually grown on me more over the years. <laughs> because I've watched it a hundred times or so. So the more I watch, especially this last watch, you know, with taking notes, you appreciate a lot of the comedy and humor and things like that. Because if it wasn't for that, it would probably be out of five. Because it's not the greatest fucking movie. It's not the best Halloween movie. And I'm not big on family movies. So that's just me. I'm not big on family movies. I'm not. But I think, I think that, that would be the one, the one nostalgic thing for me because I'm not big on family movies. I'm not either. big on family movies, but I do appreciate the... The, honestly, the great acting that comes out of Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy and Jimmy, because they do an amazing job. Even like, I mean, the kids, they're so-so, you know what I mean, in the first one. And, you know, but... Thor but Birch for, was over the top. The, the what? Her acting in the first one. Who is over it? Over the top, Thor Birch. Which one is that? Danny. Oh, Danny, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. So, yeah, it was very over the top. She even his like, even his acting was like, was Max... Like, I didn't, I didn't. His acting was a little over the top, over the top, ah. and so, like the part where he's kicking the fucking trash can. Yeah. He's like, "This is really bad." Like, dude, come on. Like, that's too yeah. much. That's yeah. the anger issues that you were talking. So, about. but anyway, so I'll I'll give it a six and a half. Um, it's a good movie. I love it, and I will probably I'll watch it several more times probably. But it's just not. I'm just like I said. I'm not a big family movie guy, you know. So I'll give it what it is, and we'll leave it at that. But. Um, yeah, I just it's not it's not it's something I will watch in the future. It's just not it's not that great of a fucking movie to me. Like it doesn't resonate with me like it does a lot of other people. Sure. So, but I do like it. I do enjoy watching it. I especially like watching it with my kids and things like that. I so I don't do hol- like holiday movies. Like I won't watch a movie just for a certain holiday. Like I, I don't have a movie I watch around Halloween. I don't have a. I don't either particularly. I like I like certain like, movies, but. I'm not gonna go out of my way. Like if it's Christmas time, I don't go out of my way to watch yeah. Christmas movies. I go out of my way to watch Home Alone every year. I don't, um, but I will watch them if, like, you know. But Crystal likes to watch Christmas time movies and stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, we can watch that. Some people, it's not Christmas until they watch that dude fall off a Nakatomi Plaza. I want to watch Frosty the Snowman. Oh, <laughs> for Die Hard. <laughs> yeah. I want to watch Frosty the Snowman. Again. There's still the, there's still a debate going on if that's a Christmas. It's movie. a fucking it's a Christmas fucking Christmas movie. movie. It is an action Christmas. Like, all right, that movie that we were just talking about with uh with um, God damn it, David Harbor. That's gonna be a, your new Christmas movie. That's that's gonna be it's up there with Christ- Die Hard. It's not Christmas for me until I watch Christmas Vacation and a Christmas oh, yes. Story. That is the best Christmas movie I hate ever. Christmas story. Never seen either of those. No, no, I'm not talking about Christmas Story. I'm talking about Christmas Vacation. Yeah, but like, oh, you I, will. Because Christmas time, Christmas I'm definitely story. picking that movie. Story. I have a leg lamp. I love you. You I, have no like, idea. That movie's I, fucking I liked hilarious. The stuff in it, but it was one of those where I what watched it a whole bunch, what? and a lot of people hate year. it because of that. But I don't watch it, but once a year. No, if it was, and I never did. No, All right, mine so was, I watched it a whole bunch in one year. That's not the movie. That's not the movie's fault. That's your fault. Okay, so uh, so <laughs> there's no score. The one with the remote. There's no score for this movie on Metacritic. So there is like a audience score, but we're not. I don't want to just do the audience score. Um, so we're gonna go back to Rotten Tomatoes for the first one. So for the first one, what do you guys think that the critics rated out oh, of? Oh, uh, this is only fifty nine reviews. Oh, I'm gonna go with. Uh, for the first one? 55. 64. 
Well, I'll take it. It was probably done in 1993. They, they weren't buying as many critics back then. Well, this, these critics can also be recent, too. So. Oh, well, I'm going to say they gave it at least a 60 or 70 something. 65. Let's just say 65. Yeah, there's a lot of newer ratings for it. All right, what was your scores? 55. 55, 64. 65. Karen will take this one. It's got a 39%. Are you serious? 39%. That's Them like sons God. of bitches. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's so um, they hour. they apparently didn't like this movie, um, it, and a lot of these reviews are new. Really? That's the problem right there. Um, all right, well let's just I'm not even going to read a review because we're running we're already over time. Yeah, uh, we let's go ahead and long. jump into audience score. Uh, what do you guys think the audience gave it? Uh, eighty three percent. I'm gonna say at least. Uh, since she gave it an 83, I'll say they still went 70. 70 I'm going to go with 64 again. Matt, you almost took it, dude. Uh, 71%. You're almost on the nose. 71% audience score, which is good. Uh, I think that with that, it's just a lot of nostalgia. A lot of kids growing up like, what? This movie's great. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. So. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, uh, all right. Well, let's jump into our Hocus Pocus 2 reviews. Let's start with Matt. Matt, what do you think of Hocus Pocus 2? What would, what would your score be? Five. A five? Why? Because it's just the same thing. It's just a movie that, like, I don't. I wouldn't say it's not good, but I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just, it was, I think it was mainly made just for the nostalgia, and I didn't care. I don't think it had the right amount of nostalgia in it. It right. didn't do it. It just wasn't that great. Okay. It was it was like I could say I would say yeah, watch it, but if you're wanting the whole if you're going into it just for the nostalgia, it don't have it. Very little few references to the first one. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh Karen, what do you think? 3. A 3? Oh boy. Okay. Why? Unlikable characters. Mhm. Humor wasn't there. Uh bad I mean you can't even give the original audience a nod right right uh overall just bad I they, they didn't bring any of the original flavor to it which is part of the magic oh I agree from yeah. the first one I agree um and you know they I felt like I really just felt like they kept trying to force things down your throat with it you know, and and really felt like they were slapping you in the face with certain things. Okay. And I hated that. Okay. So three. Three. Okay. Madison, what about you? Four. A four? Okay. Why? Point five. Four point five. <laughs> She's really on them point. She's on them point five. <laughs> Just like your <Yeah>. father. <laughs> um, mainly, I would have given a lower score, but the ending with Winnie or whatever. That did pull the heartstrings just a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it did. It did. Um, why did they do that? Don't know, because it really did seem like she hated her sisters in the first movie. And what Karen said, there weren't... She straight bitch slapped Sarah in the Walgreens. Exactly. Like, right across the face. <laughs> to be fair, I'd probably slap Sarah. <laughs> I probably would, too. Like, God damn it, you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> There wasn't many references, but the ones that there were, they were obvious and annoying. Like, the couple and the devil and his wife's yeah. costumes, I did not like that. Well, yeah, they no also way. put that one in numerous times. They did, yeah. too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were, like, shoving that one in your face. Um, all right, so I'm going to go with a... <sighs> Boy. Uh, I'm going to go with probably... God damn, I really a three point five. I gotta go with a three point five on this one. Uh, the the humor didn't catch with me. There was a couple of giggly moments, like ah, you know, like. But other than that, like it just wasn't. It wasn't a good movie for me anyway. Like I think that kids could find humor in this movie. Um, but like I said, um, I knew I I go I walked into this movie thinking that ah, oh, it's just gonna be this. It's nostalgia bait. But there wasn't any there. Like, there was nothing from the original. And I was like, okay. Because the, one of the promos I saw for this movie was 
the part where she comes out, they come out with the broom and the Swiffer, and the thing I was like, oh, it's a good callback. And then she's like, a muck, a muck, a muck, and she does that. And I was like, oh, this movie's gonna be straight nostalgia. I was like, that's good, but bad. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, it's got me pulled in, but it's not gonna do good for a wider audience. Well, then we go into the movie, and there was none of that. That's all there was. There was nothing other than a couple of callbacks on the cat and things like that. And I just felt like, and on top of that, you had the sisters who had this great chemistry in the first one. And just, you know, they were so fucking full of energy. And I understand they're older now. They can't do it. If they can't fucking do it, don't do it at all. It's been I, 30 I, fucking years, man. I blame I blame the, the writing for that, though. The writing? Uh, there was no, there was nothing quippy about it. It's not funny. There was a couple of moments that get, that made me giggle a little bit, but the the girls, the young girls in the movie, didn't give add anything to the story. I thought the whole point of the story was stupid. Them trying to hunt down the mayor, which had nothing to do with anything. I didn't feel like there was any chemistry with and the young girls either. There was no chemistry. There was no chemistry. Period in this were, whole movie. Exactly. Like even between the sisters, it was there wasn't a lot of chemistry, and that's why I'm saying Whereas I there, blame the writing. Okay? How do, blame how do you them. lose the chemistry from the first movie to the second movie between the same fucking characters? You mm-hmm. wait 29 years to make it. I understand that, but still, <laughs> they, should be, they should be able to come back in with that same energy with each other. You think? I mean, I'm not saying that they should be doing backflips or anything because they're you know 30 years older. But no, at I mean, the same I, that's time, that's why I say I blame the writing mostly. It's you know, the writing, it's the directing, and yeah. and the sad part is. This movie could have been great, and I think with a few storyline tweaks and some better shoot, uh, some better uh, um, scenery to shoot around, like actually Salem and things like that, would be awesome. I remember in the first movie that shot of Sarah flying over Salem, over Massachusetts. Beautiful. It was gorgeous. You could see all the water and the whole city and everything, and it was just gorgeous. That part where she was singing yep. to get the children, mm-hmm. that was awesome. They showed none of that. Mm-mm. None of that shit. None of the cinematography was good. It looked like a goddamn made-for-TV movie. You know, it's just it wasn't impressive to me. So no. it's a three point five. I just I I, I wasn't, agree. and I didn't even bring that up with mine. But I agree that was part of my reasoning. It yeah didn't look like Salem. It didn't look like Salem, and it wasn't Salem. So no. it killed it for me. But I think that the movie itself could have benefited from a lot more, some better set design and things like that. Matt, stop fucking with that mic. I do what I want. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> All right, so from here, we are going to go ahead and jump into the Rotten Tomatoes thing. Then we're going to end up getting some trivia. We are way over on this, on this we show. We were doing two movies, though, to be fair. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. And we went really long on the news. I tried not to. I tried to whip right through that yeah, shit. Yeah, but we got stuck on some... St- no, we got stuck on the... Uh, what have you watched is what yeah. we got stuck on. Um, all right, so out of uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, what do you think Hocus Pocus 2 has for a critics review? 30. 30? Matt's giving it a 30. 25. 25? Holy, this is critics. 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 Yeah. Not, not audience, critics. Yeah, I'm saying critics usually go lower. Okay. 40? Okay. Uh, they gave it a 63%. <laughs> which My isn't God. rotten. Which Are isn't you rotten. Kidding me? Well, of course, it, yeah, because you gotta understand they, the first one they gave a thirty. They cater to the woke crowd. Oh, for, fuck for this sake. movie, you know that. What? All right, so and that was out of one hundred thirty reviews, sixty three percent. That's all Disney's doing. Disney and, even came out and said that they are pushing a not so secret gay agenda. Yeah. So, uh, all right, for the audience score, Matt, what do you think? I'm still going to say the audience probably still went high. So, 70. Ooh. All right. I think the audience went low. I'm going to go with 45. Okay. 32. <laughs> um, Karen's going to take this one. Um, 54%. So, it was apparently, essentially, people didn't like it that much. It's a so so movie. It's a 50%. So, half did, half well, did. I figured it would be higher because they catered. I kind of figured that would be the audience score. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to give you one rotten score from a critic, or I'll give you two actually. This is uh, it says this uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is just a, as unevenly plotted as the original, lacks even the elements of surprise, and is not by any reason reasonable standard good. Between gooey and ghoulish, there must be better options. 
this other guy, this other person said, Hocus Pocus 2 has more magic than its predecessor. <laughs> that does not mean its cast is as memorable. Fuck off, dude. Bitch, you're stupid. <laughs> this movie is not as good as the first. You're dumb. Like, I hope that these, I really hope that the people that like wrote these see, hear us. I hope so too. Because we're gonna eventually. I'm. I'm hoping we'll find this bitch you. and like. And, <laughs> you just like. We should do a, a James plaster Helen my Bob shit all over her Facebook. Did you write? <laughs> yeah. Did you write this? All right. So those are our Rotten Tomato scores. All right. Let's jump into some trivia. How much trivia you got? Like a lot? No. I okay. mean, it's two movies worth, but right. no, I didn't write down everything because some of it, I felt like. People should know. I mean, this first movie is so, like, 30 plus years old. old. I mean, yeah. Uh, you used to be surprised, though. A lot of people don't keep up on this stuff. Fair it? enough, but since the second one came out, I mean, a lot of it's fucking everywhere. But right. anyway, uh, the moths in Billy's mouth were real. I knew that. There was a latex pocket attached to dentures that blocked off the back of it, uh, Doug Jones' throat so that the moths would come out mm-hmm. and there was a very small hole at the back so that when you know so he could do the cough um and help push the moths out uh after locking the sanderson sisters in the school kiln the kids celebrate as they walk into the park the house directly behind max and binks while they talk was the house that th- was thor birch's home in 1999's american beauty Really? Yep. Well, that's cool. What kind of trivia is this? It's just trivia about the movie and the production of the movie, things so like that. So it's not like actual questions that we answer? No. No, it's just trivia about the movie and uh, stuff. Maybe I should do it as a Q&A. <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> when Joseph said trivia, that's what I thought we were going to do. Yeah. Oh, and then I should, like, you know, do quizzes. And then maybe we should just grades. stop calling it trivia and call it, did you know? <laughs> yeah, did you know? <laughs> did you know? <laughs> uh, the fountain in the same scene where they're talking is the um, same fountain... From Friends? From Friends. I knew that, and the, yeah. the, I did, too. Uh, Thora Birch was offered to repl- reprise her role in Hocus Pocus 2, but oh, declined yeah. due to scheduling conflicts. Who's With Thora what? Birch? What is that bitch doing? I don't know, but you see, like, I read a while back that she was blacklisted because of her parents. Because her Who? parents were, like, like, weird and had to be on set all the time and... Who who was yeah? But she did Danny. she did American Beauty though. I mean, how could she be have been blacklisted? No, blacklisted after that, like after you know what I mean. Like when she disappeared, it, that was when it happened. But I don't know. I didn't. I didn't do a whole lot. That's of weird though. Into that. Her parents were sitting on the set. Like yeah, she could show her boobs. That's what. That's you know what why. Like, that's, that's why weird. people found it weird. Like and as she got older and she was doing more and more adult things, like they had to be there, and people found it off putting. That is weird. Well, did, yeah. Did you know that? Uh, Kim Kardashian's mother, they signed papers for that sex tape to be rela- released, and Kim Kardashian's mother watched the videos to, and told which one was the best one to put out. That's odd. Yeah. People are I fucking... Hollywood's it. weird. That, that, though, uh, they say that they didn't do that, but the guy who was in the video said, no, that's exactly because we both got paid for it. And ca- It was out a couple months ago that they did that. Like, she even... The mom took a uh, the fucking Kardashians are on crack, dude. They're a bunch of fucking losers. Yeah, don't don't yeah. talk about them. Don't yeah. make them any more famous than yeah. they are. Fuck them. Uh, <laughs> make them famous. I was hoping I was dirty in them. Fuck them. Dirty in them. Fuck no, them. Kanye you can't. did that. There's somebody out there that, that's going to, yeah. I mean, if, mm. the role of Max was originally offered to Leonardo DiCaprio. He yeah. turned it down to appear in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Smart move. <laughs> yeah. This is Bette Midler's favorite of all of her films. Too old for that role, wasn't he? No, he was like 12. Was he? No, he was, I don't know, he was like 15. He was, he would would have been about the right age. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, The Devil's Dog was actually Kathy and Jimmy's dog. Um, The one that played the Devil's Wife, we talked about that. The Devil and His Wife, Gary and Penny Marshall. Uh, Bette Midler actually carried a book around on the set with um, insults from the 1600s. Yeah, I know she studied the yeah, language so and like, stuff a lot. So. That's and that way she could have like more authentic insults, yeah. like when she calls her a trolley mog. That's an actual 1600s insult. <laughs> uh, Sean Murray played the human version of Binks, and actor Jason Marsden voiced the voiced the character. In both the human and feline forms, I didn't know that. I thought he just did the feline form. I didn't he did know both. That. Yeah. yeah. So, um, 
because thought, the, because his voice just wasn't. Yeah, they thought it, uh, Sean Murray's voice was too contemporary. Yeah. It sounded too. Yeah. too uh, it wasn't as authentic as they wanted it. To yeah, be it didn't for the sound sixteen hundreds enough, yeah, I guess. Right. Um, and then we talked about this, but you know, Omri Katz and Jason Marsden were in uh, Erie, Indiana, as Marshall Teller, and Dash X was yeah. Jason Marsden's character. And then this, this is like my favorite one. So when this was shown in the UK, all instances of Billy losing his head were cut from the movie because it was too violent. They felt like that was too violent. So this, this caused a lot of um, problems though, like with, you know, the plot, pay, yeah. you know, knowing what's going on. So like, um, like, especially like, you know, the part where like, you know, where Billy loses his head and that gives... Winnie the opportunity to grab Danny because Danny yeah. gets out of the circle to get his head. Exactly. Like that no longer makes any sense at all. Right. So it's, what does it just go movie. from her it, it, being she, in the circle to just she's Winnie literally having her? in the circle protected and then she's out of the circle screaming and getting grabbed. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, there was a big uproar about it and they put it back in. Because it really isn't that bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. No, there wasn't blood or blood Yeah, it's or not like it was gory or anything. Right, right. So, um, Is that's it more it comical than anything? One. Yeah, that's <laughs> it for the first one. And then, um, so currently there's no plans to have a Hocus Pocus 3. I hope not. I know. <laughs> but all three witches would be up to it if it were pitched. Of course. Bette Midler says she would love to have a franchise... In fact, Bette Midler is largely responsible for the sequel getting made. Oh, for sure, yeah. As the years went on, she saw more and more merch, and it seems more and more fans. So once a year, she would call the studio and say, so how about it? Yeah, yeah. I, I've, heard, I've read that, yeah. Yeah. Doug Jones got to say the, got to wear the same wig as he did in the original. <laughs> <laughs> and um, before the sequel was greenlit, a remake was set to be made. It was going to be a made-for-TV movie that involved none of the original cast. However, when this was greenlit, the remake was scrapped. Thank God. Yeah, no shit. Could you imagine that? Oh That's just God. an insult, dude. No shit. A well, made for TV I remake. I heard about that, and then I thought it was like bullshit. And then, like when we heard about this, I was like, oh, I knew that was bullshit. And then I read that, and I'm like, oh, I guess it wasn't bullshit. Yeah, that's. They, could you imagine the slap in the face? Like, yeah. Like, like just to have a, a made for TV Bette Bette remake. Bette been begging for this yeah. for years. Yeah, Bette Miller was like, really? Yeah. F f yeah. Anyway. Uh, there was a sequel novel that was written by someone called A.W. Jantha. I cannot fucking read I wonder if it's better name. than this one. Uh, <laughs> it followed the daughter of Max and Allison. Her name was Poppy. There was really? A movie? Mm -hmm. Not a movie. It was a, it was it was a, book. a book. Oh. Called uh, her Poppy, huh? Poppy. That's a stupid fucking name. It's a nickname for Penelope. Yeah, I was uh. going to say, it's probably a nickname, dude. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker actually has an ancestor who was accused of being a witch in Salem during the trials, although her ancestor never went to court and escaped with her life. Probably because of Sarah Jessica Parker's large ass nose. That she looks like a witch, dude. Oh my god. Well, that's not the point. <laughs> so yeah. the spider that attacks the villagers in the opening scene is actually a golden silk orb weaver. They are very large. Their tor their torsos are three inches long alone, not including the rest of their body. And are they from Australia? They are harmless, though. They are not venomous, and their bites can not actually penetrate human skin. What are they? They're like daddy long that, legs. That, that, that spider. Golden that... silk orb weavers. The, no, uh, daddy long legs can... Poison have, you. They're like... Can, the, I know. can puncture your skin, and they're not the most deadly deadly spider they don't have that their venom's not that I play bad. with them all the time I know but I thought they could only poison you if you had like an open wound because mm -hmm. their things are so thin I've, I've read that that whole the whole thing about daddy long legs is a lie their venom's not that strong and they can't they can puncture your skin are you serious every time you've ever told me not to be afraid of a daddy long leg because no, they it doesn't bite they don't they don't bite yeah but what I'm saying is that they what do bite. What he's saying bite, is that they, they, they don't they, have venom. Like, they're, they don't... No, that, they, they have venom, but it's the, it, can, it wouldn't hurt you. I not, know that, but, like, if they can bite, I don't want to be bit. It's it's so little, it wouldn't, you wouldn't feel it. So, Dude, I've spent years trying to get her over this fear of fucking spiders, and here you are negating everything. You should be scared of spiders. She is, though. Oh, yeah, she's a 15 year old girl uh, I've got her know. off of the fucking daddy long legs thing and now you're telling me she can, that they can bite they can't 
It's just that it's, it's not going to hurt. I tried to help. <sighs> they're fucking harmless, Madison. Daddy long legs really are, are like they're the only spider that I like. They're they're harmless. All right. So anyway. All right, so we've done ran about a half hour longer than we wanted to, but we had two movies to talk about. There's a lot to unpack with those two movies. Um, so next week, um, whose pick was it? Uh, Karen's? Yeah. Oh, fuck, what are we watching next week, Karen? Is Thanks for the vote of Well, it's the month of October. We are doing horror movies all month. And, we, and, and with with Halloween and Christmas, we have banned Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. Good job. Yes. I hate that movie. Yes. <laughs> yes. We are not doing Nightmare Before movie, Christmas. But I cannot stand it. I can't I can um, fall asleep every time. Honestly, it'll, it, that's more of a pick that you just pick to pick. Not, And even then, I hope nobody picks it because I just I don't want to review that movie. Um, so, uh, but the month of, uh, month of October, everybody, uh, th- this next one will be for Karen. Then after that will be Matt. And then after that will be my pick. And then you will be getting a bonus episode this month. We are going to do a bonus episode for our top, everybody's top five picks of horror movies. And Karen already has her list done. Matt is working on his and I haven't even fucking started mine because I'm a fucking baller you said horror and thriller yeah horror and thriller uh, yes <laughs> so karen what will we be watching next week what are we going to review i picked this movie because i think everybody should fucking watch it god damn it, is it foreign one cut of the dead is the fuck is that it is a huh? i'll just read the synopsis okay when did it come out i don't know i need to I know actually, where to see it uh it's yeah. on shutter but huh. i also own it I don't so have So I can shutter. let you borrow it. <laughs> everybody should have Shudder. Yeah. yeah but Shutter's not awesome. everybody wants to spend money on stuff that they know they're not going to watch. I've already looked through it and seen that there's nothing I really want to watch. Oh, man. They've got a lot of originals, too, that are good. If I, I will find out if there's a show I really want to watch and then find out what services it on. Crystal. Or er, Crystal. Hulu. Karen, did you watch uh, Blood Vessel on Shudder? <clears throat> no. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. yeah. It's a good one. So, Okay. It's an hour and 36 minutes. It is Foreign. Japanese. Um, so the synopsis is this. Things go badly for a hack director and film crew shooting a low-budget zombie movie in an abandoned Japanese World War II facility when they are attacked by real zombies. Or that's what it says on the tin. But this is the story of how it really happened. So what really happened? You have to watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> All Essentially, right. the guy is tasked with making... A, a zombie movie in one cut like no edits no like it's gonna happen live on television and they want the zombie movie to happen all at once no cuts nothing and um what's it called one, one cut, cut of the dead one cut of the dead you know it actually doesn't sound bad from the synopsis it sounds like it could be pretty good because i like movie for some odd reason i like zombie movies that take I'm always down for watching a new movie, man. So I'll check it out. Like for I sure. said, it's yeah. it's it's. I don't technically like a lot of foreign movies. I don't either. This but. was uh, one of those movies that um, I kept seeing it on a lot of lists for uh, if you like horror movies. And is it stuff. a is it a B movie? No, it's not? no. Okay. It, and it kept coming up and kept coming up and kept <sighs> intriguing me. So I watched it and I literally watched it twice in the same day because I literally made Jeremiah sit down and watch it again. Hmm, okay. So, I think everybody should watch it. So that's why you two are. I love watch that. It. So it's got to be good because it's your October pick. So. Yeah, I was, I was, t- I was torn between this one and Slither. Oh fuck yeah, dude! I yeah, love Slither. I do too. <laughs> I love Slither. I've I do seen too. part of it. There was something that came up more. Important. But I figured you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, love the, the, I wish you guys could have just seen the look on his face. <laughs> there was something that came up more important at that point in my life. I figured <laughs> you guys have probably already seen Slither. That was Slither, good, Matt. I so like this that. One, this is why I picked this one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, that's a good. I mean, if it's a good, if you think it's a good pick, then it's got to be good, especially for October, man. It's our horror movie month. All right, so join us next week, uh, the Bonsai Movie Crew, when we review One Cut of the Dead. <laughs> All right, was that a good voice? Did I do good? Yeah, you did. Yeah, okay. Did you <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, Jesus. sorry. I'm getting into it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, so until next time, have a good week. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.